Hello? Oh, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Bloody hell. Reet and lads and lasses, how we doing? And welcome back to the channel. It honestly feels like a very, very long time. So thank you all for joining me on this live watch along as Newcastle United take on Fulham at Craven Cottage. And lads, I know I say it every single week, but it genuinely is like every single game is now going to be a cup final. Uh, cup final on cup final on cup final. It is just going to be that way for the rest of the season. Uh, of course, it just hasn't panned out the way we thought it would. All the bloody injuries, the Tenali situation. But look, today, as is every single game normally, but this one is 10 times as more and must win game. Fulham, all well, they've been doing pretty decent recently and they've got Rodrigo Muniz who's a very good player. He's on very good form. João Paulinha, Tossin Aradebeo at the back. They've got some pretty decent players and even like the older Willian. How on earth he's still cracking football? I don't know. But look lads, we'll take a look in the lineup in just a second. We'll take a look at what your score prediction for this game is as well. But Fulham are seriously a very, very good team. Let's not underestimate them for the little uh, ch cheese board and grape wine drinking fans that they normally are. Like genuinely, they actually are a very good team. Also, so, as you'll see now, if you are regular to the um, the sort of live streams, I've changed the timer. Oh my god, it's so hard to point. I've changed the timer here, which normally goes there, like around there. And I've also put the the subscribe thing there. It's so hard when the camera's inverted, but I've also put the subscriber thing there. So let me know if you think that's uh, a little bit better as well. But I, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the lineups. Or actually, before we do, what's your score prediction for this game? Get them down below. I'll take a look at them in just a second, lads. But my score prediction for this game, I am going to go... 3-1 to Newcastle United. I believe they will score because our defence has been pretty leaky recently. And of course, Rodrigo Moon is their strike has scored a fair few. But I'll take a look at what your score predictions are for today, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, uh, thank you to everyone who was asking if I if I am okay. I am definitely okay now. Honestly, I really do apologise for like the, the lack of uploads on YouTube, especially. I know I've been keeping active on TikTok, but they've been sort of re-upload, uh, not re-uploads, like drafts. Um, honestly, I've been lacking on the content a little bit, and that's because I've been so, so unwell. I've got this horrible bug in my stomach. Thank God it's gone now and we are back. Football's back. It's going to be a very, very good day. Now let's take a look at your score predictions, lads and lasses. We have said... <laughs> Harry says 2-1 Shaw Brace. Wow, we're taking it back to the Aston Villa game there. I hope you're right, Harry, mate. Uh, Lando Norris, do you know what it is, Ak? I don't want to harm you, mate, but I could never get my head around a uh, Formula 1, honestly. It's just cars going round and round and round. I'll never, ever get that sport, mate. But F1, Lando Norris says... Let me just go up there. Sorry about that, mate. 2-2. Two, two. Well, I'd, I'd like to think a little bit more positive than that, but hey-ho. Um, I think your cast will win 3-1, says Joe. I hope so, mate. Harvey says 3-1, and UFC World says 3-1. Of course, I said 3-1 as well, lads. It looks like the most popular score prediction. Uh, Lexi Tennant says 3-2. Um, I am feeling better. Thank you very much for asking. Holly B. Chill, thank you very much for tuning in again, Holly. 1-2-1 um, or 3-1? Um 3-1 Isak, Gordon, Willick, but Muniz will score for them. Muniz, uh, he's, a, he's a very good player, isn't he? He's a very, very good player. 3-0 says Kean. 3-1 uh, says NUFC added. Thank you for tuning in again. 4-1 says Yellow Ducky. 3-1 Jordy Bob. 2-1 says Lucas Clark. Very nice last name. That's also my last name. Uh, with an A as well. 2-0 United. I love that saying, United. Come on, the boys. 2-1 says Tenali. 2-1 Lee J. Young. 4-2 says Football Matty. Wow, six goals in the game. I mean, we're, we're taking back the entertainers days recently, aren't we, lads? We've been scoring goals for fun. 4-3 here and there. 4-4 four, four here and there. Bloody hell. We've also been conceding a fair few as well, like that Liverpool game. 4-2. Jesus Christ, man. Um, goal scorers, Josh. Dan Burn Hattrick says Harvey Anderson. Bloody hell, mate. I think you've got more of a chance of me like learning how to teleport on the spot to Dubai. Like, I've probably got more chance of doing that. Um, goal scorers, right? Goal scorers. What will the goal scorers be today, ladies and gentlemen? Do you know what it is? It feels like quite snide, shall we say. It feels like quite easy to say when somebody asks who's a goal scorer. You just say Isak because he's that good and he scores nearly every single game. But look, I'm going to take Isak out of the equation. I do believe he'll score, but it'll be so easy saying Isak, man. Honestly, he's, he's getting nearly a goal a game now. He's that good. But yeah, I'm going to say, I think Anthony Gordon will score today. I've said that for quite a while now. And also, ladies and gentlemen, it's Bruno J's 100th appearance. Now, let's just, let's just take a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Every single person here, right? We know that, in my opinion, the, the, well, look, there's been so much talk about Bruno leaving your castle. He's a fantastic player. If we don't get Europa League, you never know with football. Like, honestly, you, you never, ever know. You never, ever know. Someone could say, I love this club, I'll die for the badge and leave the next day. In my opinion, I don't think Bruno will leave, but just... 
Bruno might be playing his last eight games for Newcastle. I don't want to think about it like that, but somebody said that, and honestly, I was I was getting a little bit upset. I'll just say that he's the best player I've ever seen play for this club. I hope it's not his last eight. I'll just say that. But uh, no, I, I don't think he will leave, ladies and gentlemen. 100th appearance he has to the next 10 hundred. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, you keep this lad forever and ever. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you want, you around here. Before we take a look at the lineups, and um, I've got a feeling some of us might uh, disagree on this lineup for for one man in particular. Subscribe if you want, you around here for all Newcastle United content. And of course, lads, if you haven't already, hit that like button because we're coming back with the content now. We're feeling good. We're going to get every single upload on every single day. And also, I want your opinions on this. I'm going to start, start and try and do like a a weekly live show on YouTube. Every single week I'm going to do a live show with all the bits of news around Newcastle United. I might get some special guests on and talk about them sort of news. If you, if you know what I mean, we'll answer your questions um, from the guests. We'll get all them on, on the sort of screen and stuff like that. Let me know if you want to say something like that, lads and lasses, because it's another chance for me to sort of engage with you, get your opinions and everything. And of course, it would be something else to, to kind of watch. But I like if you want you, lads and lasses. But uh, yes, let's take a look at the lineups because that's what we always do now. I'll just get them up on my right. Newcastle United will line up today with Martin Dubravka in goal. Many people were, were saying for, for um, Loris Karras, look, if Dubravka does drop a howl that day, it, it may be Karras' time to shine. But Dubravka in goal for me, I'm, I'm not too disappointed with that. You let me know, of course, your thoughts on the lineup as well. Emil Kraft at right back, there's no arguing there. I mean, although he's not our first choice, obviously, arguably third choice. Um, there's no one else to take his role there. They're both bloody injured. Fabian Shaw, right centre-back. Absolutely fantastic. He would be there even with all the injuries. Uh, Dan Byrne, left centre-back. Played fantastic against West Ham. And, of course, I think he played very... I thought he played very good against Everton at home as well. Dan Byrne's really been impressing me recently. Lewis Hall at left-back. Thank God he's back. And, of course, I did put it out on Twitter that he was start, starting at, like, 11 o'clock or something. Very, very good. Was definitely impressed with his performance at, uh, at Everton. Passing was great. And, actually, for quite a small lad, he was winning so much in the air as well, which you don't actually expect for them, them young players. They were targeting them, and uh, he dealt with it very, very well. In the midfield area, Bruno G, fantastic. Main man, unbelievable. Joe Willock on the left-hand side, not arguing with that, although recently, I think it was against West Ham, he looked, at, obviously he's definitely carrying an injury because it's not like Joe Willock to be kind of lazy so to speak but against West Ham he looked so sluggish so slow he just he didn't have that kind of work rate what that Joe Willock epitomizes um fingers crossed he's definitely fully fit today Sean Longstaff in right center mid now, I know many people would have said, put Willock on the right-hand side and get Elliot Anderson. Elliot Anderson has been outperforming Sean Longstaff, but bloody hell. I, I, I don't want to start off on a negative, but I can. It, it's actually getting to the point where I can see I can see before balls kick that Sean Longstaff isn't going to have a good performance. Bear in mind, if he does have a good performance, I will bite my tongue out because I want it to work for Sean Longstaff so bad. He's a Geordie. Honestly, I don't know who wouldn't want it to work for Sean Longstaff. He's a Geordie lad. Get him in that team. He was performing fantastic last year, but for the last 20-odd games, he's genuinely been terrible. He can't even put a pass together, man. Seriously, I hope the, the, the faith Eddie Howe is sort of repaying in him, or Eddie Howe's putting in him, Sean Longstaff can repay that back. Now, when the front line, Jacob Murphy on the right, Anthony Gordon on the left, Gordon's back from that suspension, get in, and of course, Alexander Isak up top, not complaining there, although some people might have said Barnes, for me, look, bringing Barnes off the bench is an impact player, I'm having that every day of the week, on the bench, Karius, meh, Gillespie, meh, Dummit, ugh, Richie, ugh, no, but the, the rest is okay, Joe White, Ahmad, Dial uh, Amad Diallo, bloody hell, he was a former Macum. Amadou Diallo, who actually has been released by Newcastle. I don't know why he's on the bench if he's been released in the summer. Uh, Alex Murphy, a very bright Irish prospect who can play centre-back and left-back. Elliot Anderson, fantastic. And, of course, big Harvey Barnes. Now, what have you said about the... Um, about the... Oh, bloody hell, what, what's this coming up on my phone here? All oh, right, sorry. Sorry, I do apologise about that. that. was just a bloody Twitter notification. So, what have you said? Uh, Josh, you're my favourite YouTuber. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate them compliments. You're the most famous youngster YouTuber. <laughs> very specific bracket, but I do appreciate that compliment, mate. Thank you very much. Um, Josh, do you think Isak will go to Arsenal? <sighs> it's not something I want to be talking about on a bloody live watch along against full of mine, but no, I don't I don't believe Isak will. Isak did say he's very, very happy in Newcastle United, so I trust his word. 
he's, he's unbelievable, Isak, isn't he? Honestly, Real Madrid would be lucky to have him. Real Madrid would genuinely... I mean, they've got Betty Hosselu up top. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they would genuinely be lucky to have him. Uh, it's going very good, Jordan. Thank you very much for asking, mate. Score prediction. I'm going to say it for the very last time, ladies and gentlemen. 3-1 to Newcastle United. I'm going Anthony Gordon as a goal scorer. Alexander Isak. Mm, who am I going to go for my third? Do you know what it is? I'm feeling, I am feeling a Dan Byrne goal. He done it in the cup, uh, in the cup. He done it in the cup against uh, Fulham at Craven Cottage when we won 2 0. Sean Longstaff also got the goal. But uh, I, I, I definitely back Dan Byrne, Anthony Gordon, and Alexander Isak today, ladies and gentlemen. Fingers crossed that happens. We, this is a very big three points. I'm not going to sort of keep reiterating that, but this is a very, very big three points. A very big game. We've kind of got to win it. Actually, do you know what it is? Let's take a look at what the. the I'll get it up now on my screen. Let's take a look. It, what the, the league table looks like now, of course, we know what it looks like for Newcastle United, but many other teams around us are playing now. Aston Villa, who are quite a bit clear of us, unfortunately, are playing today. Of course, I think they're playing Brentford, is it off the top of my head? I don't actually know. Uh, Man City just won 4-2, I believe it was. Luton's playing Bournemouth. Bournemouth is actually surprisingly quite close to us. But uh, yes, Newcastle United at the minute, we are 8th. 44 points, plus 12 goal difference. Bloody hell, that goal difference was so much better, man. Where did it go all wrong? In my opinion, it's definitely because of Nick Pope's injury. But uh, West Ham, of course, they've played one more game than us. West Ham are... Does it not want to show us the, the games that's going on today or something? I don't know why it doesn't want to show us the games that's going on today. Wait one second. I think I have to, like... I think I have to, like, buffer it completely. There we go. Right, I've got it now. So, the games that's going on today, of course, Man City and Crystal Palace have just played. Man City beat them 4-2. Uh, Aston Villa is playing, like I've already said. They're playing Brentford. Everton and Burnley doesn't really concern us. Luton and Bournemouth, of course, would like a Luton win there. Wolves and West Ham, of course, we would like a Wolves win. And Brighton and Arsenal. Um, let me just double check that. Brighton's, oh, Brighton's right behind us. Bloody hell. So would obviously rather an Arsenal win there. I mean, look, they are last season sort of competitors. as we're not really where they are right now. So, um, yes, a Brighton loss, hopefully. A West Ham loss. Is there any other teams around there? Wow, wow, Wolves are... Jesus Christ, I didn't, I didn't realise Wolves were that close to us, actually. Wolves and... Oh, a draw would probably be better than... Bloody hell. I thought Wolves dropped off quite a bit, but never, nevertheless, they look very, very good. And um, we've got quite a few people joining here, ladies and gentlemen. So I really do appreciate you all joining. Seriously, I do. Um, if you want new around here, subscribe for Newcastle United content. And, of course, like if you want new. I'm trying to hit that new like goal. I think the most likes we've ever got was 168 in the time we had Derby. But don't feel like just because we haven't got that many people, we can't do it. Trust this. Like it up now. And, and we'll get it done, ladies and gentlemen. We seriously will. But it is now 18 minutes before kickoff. Time flies, you know. Time flies when you're on a camera. I swear to God, it genuinely does. But uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I, I am very, of course, you know I wasn't well. I really do appreciate that. I am well now, so don't be worrying about me anymore. I am very, very well. How come you don't go to away games anymore, mate? So the thing is, I do go away games, but the likes of Fulham, where, of course, Fulham didn't even drop on my points. I, I can't really go to them ones, lads. But uh, it's it's so expensive as well, man, honestly. And by the way, with me being a content creator, being down in London, getting a video up would, would be quite late because I've got that London signal, uh, if you know what I mean. I've got a train to catch and all that sort of stuff. It's just a, for, for like a, a content creator, I'm in so, such a perplexed situation which many aren't in and many can't really understand i mean of course if you bloody hell my hair's all over idea let's just quickly sort that out jesus christ um it's some people can't really understand but it is it is very very weird it's a very weird situation i know some people might not understand it that's that's completely fine but uh i it is it's it's hard to explain do you know what i mean i, I didn't have enough points to go up full in many ways but of course i've, I've been like th three away games this season which by my standards is pretty poor i think i've only been to um I've been a Rangers away in pre-season, AC Milan in the Champions League, and Manchester City away in the Premier League. One sec, lads, let's just quickly get this sorted. There we go. Perfect, right. Josh, have you ever thought about doing vlogging type content? Well, <laughs> sorry to burst your bubble, mate, but my most viewed videos are basically like my, my sort of vlogging stuff. Do you notice that I don't tend to do them too much because there's not many matches on. Uh, of course, you only get like, what, what's in 19 home games in the Premier League, of course, cup games and that, but we've barely had any cup home games this season. So it has been pretty hot to get out the vlogs, but uh, of course, there's always a, a vlog when, when it's a home game. Do you know what I mean? Um, where is my target? Honestly, I don't know where my targets went. He got injured and then he was set to come back and it just looks like he's got injured. Honestly, that is genuinely how I look like, you know. I, I, I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. Lewis Miley's been a huge blow more than what people think. 
It's mental how we've missed a 17 year old so, so much, isn't it? Seriously, what a miss Lewis Miley's beard. Why does my forehead bloody fringe keep coming down? But uh, I honestly, what a miss 17 year old Lewis Miley has been. You would think that, oh, it's just a kid, it doesn't really matter. We've got the experienced Sean Longstaff there to help him. Uh, but no, genuinely, what a miss Lewis Miley has been. If he was in that, if he was available right now, Lewis Miley would be starting. Maybe not because of Eddie Howe, but Lewis Miley should be starting, I'm telling you that now. Um, Josh, you're my favourite YouTuber. Thank you very much, mate. You should do long-form videos on the charity matches. I will next time, but of course, it was my first sort of charity matches that, that I uh, did attend the other week. So I was just kind of getting grasped, uh, just kind of getting the grasp of things. That, that's the saying. Uh, I, it's it's all sort of new to me, this sort of stuff, you know, like going out and doing charity matches and all that sort of stuff. But of course, I am so appreciative because it's you lot that literally makes me do stuff like that. I really do appreciate it, but I, it, stuff like that, you can be, I am pretty nervous when it's like uh, my first, doing things like, I still get nervous when I go to the games and record them, man. Honestly, I'm a proper nervous wreck when it comes to stuff like that. You should go live on away games you go to. Pfft, mate, the, the signal for that would be terrible. My phone's terrible as well for signal. Um... Have you seen Fraser at Southampton? If, of course, he's, he's on loan from us. I, I don't know what you, you mean there, mate. Um, yes, Fraser played for us for quite a few years. Do you know what it is with Ryan Fraser, actually? He had such a fantastic cross on him, of course. In the summer, I would sell him, maybe to Southampton. But what a cross he had on him. Genuinely, honestly, he had an unbelievable cross. Uh, his attitude, of course, he fell out with Eddie Howe at Bournemouth and at Newcastle United. Never going to work. Wouldn't get in the first team anyways. Just bloody, just get some money in for him. Get any sort of money in for him. Uh, I'll just read what else he's been saying. Do you think Harvey Bond should be starting today? That's been asked a lot. Now, you let me know, lads and lasses, would you have started Harvey Barnes today? Of course, the thing is, it's very hard to start Harvey Barnes and Anthony Gordon. It's it's pretty peculiar as well because you sign both players for around £40 million. You've got to kind of make one of them work, do you know what I mean? But look, Anthony Gordon, he's been our best player of the season. You've got to get Gordon in every single game. Harvey Barnes, on the other hand, he's been absolutely fantastic. But he's been absolutely fantastic. Is an impact player coming off the bench, of course. When he started... He's not been as effective, like against Evan, for example, of course, he did get the assist, but he wasn't that effective at all, was he, ladies and gentlemen? Seriously, I'd, he's much better as a bench player, let's just say that, and of course, he's so much uh, preferable on the left as well, so is Anthony Gordon. So for me, Gordon's got to start on the left, Barnes has got to start, or come on, on the left as well, and uh, Murphy's got to be on the right, or McGee on the right, look, a uh, right winger has got to be a priority in the summer, ladies and gentlemen, a right winger. Maybe a left back. Let's see how Lewis Hall pans out until the end of the season. But um, th there's a lot that does need to be sorted out. Maybe a young guy, backup goalkeeper like Diogo Costa from Porto. Another centre back. So many more there, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, aye, it is very, very hard. Someone said put Claire Bolden, brackets Anthony Gordon. On the right and Barnes on the left. The thing is with Gordon Wright, he's unbelievable on the left. Our best player of the season so far, undoubtedly. But on the right, he's he's just like Harvey Barnes. He's nowhere near as effective because he's always looking to cross the ball in rather than cutting in, uh, going inside out, winning a penalty and also getting his finesse shot off. You know what I mean? So it is much harder to, for, pardon me, for both players to play on the right than on the left, if you know what I mean. It, it is much harder. Um, if we get rid of Shaw... I'll start throwing hands. Look, I think Fabian Shaw is safe, ladies and gentlemen. Fabian Shaw is definitely safe. He's got to an age where most teams might not want him. He might want to retire at Newcastle United. The fans absolutely adore him. I'll actually be getting his uh, name on the back of my shirt next season when I'm bloody Adidas. For... Actually, speaking of Adidas kits, ladies and gentlemen, there's been an Adidas... Right, I'll show you on the screen right now. I'm getting it up on my phone. Uh, I will make a video of this, by the way. So this is a little preview. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I've never said this before. If you've, subs if you've subscribed, which I do urge you to do, get the notification bells on so you're always early honestly that would help me out so so much get them notification bells on you'll get a video as soon as it comes up tap on the notification and you're there but this is what um our kit uh, of course with adidas we're going to get like an extra kit or something like that with the adidas eqt line honestly i don't know what these bloody daft words are saying but it's equipment that's what it means adidas equipment this is what our third kit could look like and let's just make sure this is what it could look like, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not saying that's what it's going to look like. It's definitely not what it's going to look like. But it's... It's... it's wait, I'll get the actual thing up there. How the Adidas kit... Wait, is that backwards? How the Adidas kit could look like. And then, of course, that that's the actual thing there. Um, of course, that is a retro badge. And I'm telling you now, I, I quoted this tweet. And that badge, I do not like whatsoever. This badge is by far superior... 
this one here in the middle. Oh. That one right there, that badge is 10 times as good as the one I just showed you. But uh, what would we think of that as a third kit, lads? Honestly, it's definitely Saudi coloured. It's definitely Saudi coloured. That, that, that's one thing we can see. But um, it's, it's not really the, the best, is it? I, I don't think it is the best. Um, let's just quickly turn that off. It's actually not pretty, says Tanali. It's not my favourite, actually, nah. It's not my favourite, but yet again, it's an extra kit. I'll go and spend 100 quid on it. Also, by the way, um, when the new kits do come out, I'll be doing many giveaways as well, so stay tuned for them. I don't know what they'll be on. It'll probably be on Instagram or something like that, so you don't have to watch a massive video. I prioritise you as a lot, you know. I wouldn't make you watch a massive video, but when the new kits come out, I definitely will be doing giveaways. 110%, no clickbait. And I, honestly, I, I never do stuff like that. Me, I, I'm only making videos to get the point straight away. No cl clickbait or any sort of stuff. But I, when the new kits do, come out i will i will be giving a few away maybe one two or three maybe one of one of each kit like a home and away a third and that special kit wadi das bring i'll probably put that on my instagram when they do come out ladies and gentlemen so uh, i what's this lightly do you know what it is i meant to make a video about that but i wasn't well but it's kind of old news now so if it comes up again i certainly will make a video on it but honestly lads it's nothing too much to worry about i don't even think the Premier League will go ahead of it because it benefits us. That's how bloody snide they are. <laughs> um, Josh, you are so inspiring. I love how you give your time for us. Them are the best types of compliments. Thank you so much. I, honestly, I appreciate them so much. Hi, Cod. I hope you're okay, mate. Uh, nine minutes. Bloody hell. This time is flying by, you know. So, lads, what I think I'm going to do is... Um, of course, I did say I was well. I am well. But I think I'm going to go get a bottle of water. If you please could excuse me for less than a minute... I'll, I'll not put the screen on. I'll, I'll let you see the fantastic background of the Tenali shirts and all that sort of stuff. If you can excuse me for less than a minute, I'm going to go get a bottle of water. I might get a glass of uh, apple juice. But um, I'll be two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I'll not be long at all. Right, we're back, lads. I know you can't see us, but we're back. We're back. We've, we've got the liquids, lads. We're, we're completely sorted out. Um, thank you very much for waiting, by the way. I do appreciate that. Got a nice little cup of our, uh, apple juice, of course. You can't put it to the top. Apple juice is bloody expensive, no mind. Two bottles of water. We're absolutely sorted, ladies and gentlemen. The match is coming on now. Come on, the boys. Big game today. Very, very big game. Let's see what you're all saying, lads and lasses. More iconic than Danny Aaron's. Pff, bloody hell, what a name. Um, sat watching this and work. Better be a god. And hopefully it is Joshua, mate. Nice name as well. Honestly, I don't know if you all know, right? Some people are, are so oblivious to this. And I, I, I don't know if you have ever met anyone called Josh before, if you don't know that. But my actual name is Joshua. I don't know how so many people don't, like, recognise that. I, I don't think there actually is anyone who is just just called Josh, just plain and simple Josh. Uh, Joshua, I think, has got to be the, the most common name. Josh is such like a... a it is kind of a... Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to sort of put myself down. Never mind boring, <laughs> boring name. <laughs> yes, it is apple juice. Apple juice is... Do you know what it is? I prefer orange juice so much, but, but that apple juice, I think it's... Pink Lady Apple Juice unbelievable i'm telling you now get me right in the mood for this game as well <laughs> um cole palmer thinks he's so cold but his goals up do you know what it is cole palmer he he'll always stat pads penalties so much sorry lads i'm just getting the game on now he'll always stat pads uh, penalties so much he is definitely a very good player wouldn't say he's better than anthony gordon though that's one thing i won't say but look he is he is a definite he is a fantastic player let's be real he is a very very good player 
Bonds or Gordon. Do you know what it is? I hate when people make us choose between my own two players. But look, for me, it's got to be Anthony Gordon. Fantastic player, isn't he? Um, how do you feel you were ill? Yet again, I'm absolutely fine now, lad. So I really do appreciate that. You are fantastic for making sure I'm okay. 100% the best Jordan you could find ever. Thank you very much. Newcastle fans are on the telly now. Go on, the boys. That's what we love to see. Safe travels down there, lad. Safe travels down there. Isak should win. Play oh, actually, yeah, if you didn't know that, ladies and gentlemen, Isak has been nominated for Player of the Month. Uh, if you want to go vote, do you know what it is? I'll put a thing up on my Instagram story like an hour after the game or something like that once I've got all my content and sort of stuff done. But um, I, Isak has been nominated for Player of the Month. So if you've got the Premier League app on your phone, go and nominate him. Let's get him that award, lads and lasses. That would be fantastic. Um, try and keep him at the bloody club as well. <laughs> Uh, hello Josh mate, how are you? Hello and it's great to have you back mate. Love you vids Josh, thank you very much Alexander, I hope you're okay my friend. Um, who would you rather have win man of the match, Xabi Alonso or Eddie Howe? Or you mean manager of the month, <laughs> Eddie Howe obviously. <laughs> I mean I don't support Bayer Leverkusen mate, I don't know if, I don't know if you can tell there. But um, I, I support Newcastle, not by Leverkusen. Xabi Alonso was some manager, by the way. The way he sets up in his games, what a manager. Um, just got on the coach at Palace. Good luck today. I've nearly a six-hour trip back. Always better off the three points. Uh, safe travels, Craig. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne has some player, isn't he? I didn't even watch the game, but he would have had some involvement in him. I absolutely adore Kevin De Bruyne. But uh, I, it's just about exactly five minutes until we kick off. Come on, the boys. I can't wait for this one. Josh, mate. Oh, very well done. Very well done, mate. Murphy got nominated for goal of the month. He did get nominated. What game was that in again? Murphy got nominated for goal of the month. Was that in the... It was in a game we got battered, wasn't it? It was in a game we got we got we got battered, and it was a consolation. Was it the Chelsea game? I think might be in the Chelsea game. Um, no, just asking because my mates my mates were asking me, so I thought I'd, of course I'd rather Eddie Howe. Do you know what I mean? Every day of the week, ah, it is Chelsea. I thought it was. I, I thought it was Chelsea, ladies and gentlemen. Um, lads are lining up. Yeah, big Dan Burn is captain. Go on, son. He should, he'll actually be so. Do you know what it is? At the same time, I'm thinking he should be so grateful, you know, to, to be in a position where he's been playing in the Champions League, scoring the Champions League at the back end of his career, when obviously he's not the most gifted footballer, is he? But he puts his heart and soul for this club, doesn't he? Honestly, as much as we we're, we're get annoyed with him sometimes, as much as we actually do get annoyed with his bloody frustrating, frustrating pace, he, he puts his heart in his sleeve, doesn't he? What a man. What a man. <laughs> Goat, kind of a follow back on TikTok. Do you know what it is, lads? I, honestly, I'm getting people come up to us now asking for follows back. I don't tend to do them because if I did every single one, I would be following many people. But I do do them here and there. So, um, aye. No, lads. Final time. Match. No, don't worry about it, lads. Final match score prediction. 3-1 to Newcastle. The lads are coming out now. Big Anthony Gordon. Lewis Hall. Alexander Isak. Bruno. Some four players there, mind. Some four players there. Bloody hell. Um... Josh, can you update with, with the... Right, lads, I So, for the final time, um, three minutes till kick-off, the final Newcastle... The final Newcastle United team, the only Newcastle United team that there is going to be, Martin Dabrowska, Lewis Hall at left-back, Big Dan Byrne left centre-back, and your captain, of course, right centre-back, the man, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Fabian Shaw. <sighs> what a player. Right back, here in Chip, yeah. Left centre-mid, Joe Willock. Yes, it will be left centre mid. Centre mid, Bruno Gimmerich. Right centre mid, Sean Longstaff. Left wing, Anthony Gordon. Striker, actually, we'll leave him to last. Right wing, Jacob Murphy. And striker, Alexander Isak. Come on, Isak, son. What a player. Honestly, that spine of like. Imagine if we had Botman there. That spine of Botman, Bruno, Isak. A oh, man can only dream of have them back next season. Then Tenali on the right. Then Joel Linton on the left. Then Gordon. Then Kieran Trippier again. Then Tino. Oh. Bring on next season, man. Why are injuries a thing? Honestly, we would be... Do you know what it is? I would be thinking we would bat off on 5 nil a day if we didn't have them injuries. Jesus Christ, man. Hey. Lads, your final score predictions are 2-1 by Alexander John. 4-0 by Jackson. 3-0 uh, by Petacek. Nice to have you here, Petacek. 5-0 <laughs> says Tyler Duggan. 3-0 says Ethan. Um... Very, very confident, lads. I like your confidence. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm saying 3-1. I, I don't believe as much as I would like us to, of course. I don't believe we'll keep a clean sheet yet again. We've been so leaky. They've got fantastic players up top. It will be. I remember one time he scored against us in like the last, what was it, the 99th minute or something? Or 101, 101st. I can't exactly remember. But it was a Everton 1-0 loss at Goodison Park. That was one of the worst days ever, honestly, man. But William up top, 33-year-old, I believe he is, still cracking it. Andres Pereira and Rodrigo Munez. 
is. Shout out Kurt. What a legend. What a legend Kurt is. But uh, I honestly, they've got some good players there. They've got Tom Kearney and Joe Pelini on midfield as well. Two very good players there as well, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Croft, isn't it? Yeah, Croft is playing, lads. No, I was on about like if we didn't have injuries. That, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Isak to score a hat trick. Bloody hell, I'd hope so. If, if Haaland scores today, Isak scores today. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Josh, mate, you're living my dream. Like, big credit to you. Thank you so much, Owen. I really do appreciate that, mate. I'm not I'm not doing nothing too special. Fingers crossed in years to come. Uh, I can keep making fantastic content. Grow my fan base. Bring fantastic content to all you lot. No clickbait. No sort of views, money. None of that sort of stuff. Just complete news. Complete positive vibes. All that sort of stuff. That's all I want to bring, ladies and gentlemen, honestly. Uh, I'm sick of people like clickbaiting and all that. All this sort of like, oh, but might get this sort of stuff. I only bring out news if it's dead set. Do you know what I mean? That's that's all I do. <sighs> Gaz the boys, yeah. It should be kicking off in a second. It should be. But I think it might be a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I think Fulham's doing like a memorial thing or something like that. Honestly, I do not know. I do not know, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, we'll get the timer ready just in case. Obviously, I've, I've changed the timer now. It's went from here. And it used to... Um, do you know what it is? I'm not going to really faff on with this inverted camera. It used to be there. And now we've got... I'm getting used to it now. We've got the, the subscribe button up there. So, of course, if you want you, hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, the subscribe account will change if you subscribe. A little bit of a cool addition. But uh, I will get the timer ready, ladies and gentlemen. If it's going to let us. Yes, we'll get the timer ready. Game's about to kick off. Big game. We've got to put 110% in a day. I know the lads have been looking like, actually fatigued more than when we've been playing three, two games a week. Do you know what I mean? But oh, there's, there's no excuse today. There seriously is no excuse today. I don't know where the hell this... Oh, there we go. I'm bloody hell. I can't find the timer there. Right. Just about time to go. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. Because I'm ready to go. Oh, oh. Oh we oh we oh we oh we oh 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 right we're playing in the right kit as well that's that's all I was gonna say I was pretty precautious by the way uh, the game is about to go underway but I was pretty precautious because um one sec sorry I was just turning my heater off there of course we've got that bloody dreaded Saudi kit but um I've changed the I don't know where it'll be it'll be somewhere there right the game's about to kick off but we are playing in the the colors of the text that you can see Newcastle on the screen somewhere around here and the game has kicked off come on the boys kicked off a Craven Cottage ladies and gentlemen Newcastle United against Fulham and it's live come on the boys I don't know why it's when dark all of a sudden do you know what it is I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna turn my, my light on I'll break my back. Fulham already starting out big. Emil Kraft, go on, son. Emil Kraft's very well done. He's already took them out of possession. Ball sent forward, Jacob Murphy. Calvin Bassey's going to get there, though. Plays it. Who's in goal for, for Fulham today? It is Burnt Leno, isn't it? Burnt Leno or Tossin Aradabeo. Who actually, oh, Gordon Nelly nicked it off him there. He didn't, though. 30 seconds in. Come on, boys. This is looking very, very good. Um, Tossin Aradabeo, who I was just on about there, Fulham centre-back. He's been linked with us quite recently. Um, one second, let's just, let's just put this up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. I think I think that looks a bit better. Um, yeah, that looks a bit better. So what I was saying there, Fulham centre-back, Tossin Aradabeo. I think he actually is a Newcastle United fan, you know. Like, um, wait, actually, let's just change that a little bit. Sorry for faffing on you, lads, but it's got to be perfect. You know what I'm like, it's got to be perfect. Um, that looks alright, though. So, what I was saying is, bloody hell, Totson Aradabio, who we have been linked with quite a few times because he runs out of contract, I believe he does. Um, he's a Newcastle fan. Perfect. I'm taking cover every day of the week. NUFC Shane has just become a super fan. Wow, Shane, thank you very much, mate. I really do appreciate that. Uh, what a legend. I don't think I can... Do you know what it was? I was going to pin that, but I can't. I really do appreciate that, Shane, of course. You can become a member down below, ladies and gentlemen. For all sort of perks you can get. You get, like, little gifts, pictures, all that sort of stuff, honestly. The lads who are members will tell you. But uh, I really do appreciate that. You can become a member just down below where it says join, I believe it is. But anyways, what a tackle by Emil Kraft. William was on the edge of the box. Tom Kearney. Fulham in our box, yeah. Shoot. Saved by Dubravka. Well in Dubravka, son. Uh, that was by Anthony Robinson there, left back. Not too much danger, but uh, Dubravka saves, and it was very, very easy, actually. I think that was a bloody cross. Great that these lives are back. Thank you very much, Thomas. I'm great to have you all back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling fine. Fingers crossed we'll get a win here. And honestly, 
if that weather stays lush outside, what a day it'll be. Just for everyone's well-being overall, it'll be a fantastic day, lads and lasses. Two, two, blow it on me. Come on, the boys. <laughs> no problem, Shane. Thank you very much for becoming a member, mate. Oh, very bad pass there by Jacob Murphy. Fulham in possession now. Fulham breaking. Jao Polina takes a shot blocked by Bruno. Well in Bruno's son. Picked up by Isak. Long staff. Nice little ball to Joe Willock. Joe Bu Go on, Willock, son. He brings it forward to Anthony. Gordon. Go on, Gordon. Gordon's on the left-hand side. This is what we like to see. Gordon on the ball. Ah, Willock, man. It's awareness there was terrible. Awareness there was terrible by Joe Willock. He tried to play a ball through. It's kind of just went at the goalkeeper. Fulham's in possession now. Long staff tries to tackle him. He misses. Gordon, work rate, lad. Work rate from Gordon is unbelievable. Fulham do still have the ball, but Christ almighty, uh, Gordon just epitomises that sort of, that intensity for, from Eddie House system, doesn't he? What a player he is, man. What a player. Ball in here by Fulham, out by Fabian Shaw. Is that going to be a throw-in or a goal kick? I believe that's going to be a corner, actually. Um, very, very indecisive to what that was going to be. I, I couldn't actually tell there. Jesus Christ. It's going to be a corner for Fulham. I was right. It, it hit the corner flag there. But hell. Glad you're better, Josh. Thank you very much, Liv. Um, I'm a Sunderland-born Geordie. You're a Sunderland-born Geordie. I am an English-born Scotsman as well, mate. Um, <laughs> heard some Josh say that info. City move for Bruno G. Nah. Nah, lad. You, Bruno. I, I can't say Bruno going to, to bloody... But, to another English club eh? I couldn't say that anyways William outside the box William plays a fantastic ball to Tom Kearney Tom Kearney blocked out by Alexander Risa bloody hell that's our that's our striker getting back he's the, the best defender they're our bloody striker but another corner for Fulham it is um, pff, starting off strong here by the way Isak on the front post as well another corner to be taken I don't know who's going to take for Fulham it might be it's not going to be Anthony Robinson Tom Kearney maybe Never mind, Andres Pereira. Sorry, that's my body takes money. I think they're going to go for a short yard, though. Williams uh, standing over it as well. Andres Pereira. He does take short. He's got Willian now. Willian doesn't use him back. He gives it Alex Awobi. Bloody hell, I've still got bad memories of him. It's in the box, and Dubravka claims very well done. Easy for Dubravka. No danger at all. Uh, Dubravka's got the ball now, lads. This is what I didn't like, right? You know, every time the ball comes in and Dubravka claims it, whether it's from a cross, a shot, he does this every time. And it's not necessarily his fault either. He gets the ball and he runs out like, right, come on. He runs out and he's going to chuck it and make a fast play. And no one moves for him at all, honestly. It is it is quite bad, actually. Fulham's pressing us very well here. Lewis Hall on the ball now. Try to play the long ball through Anthony Gordon. Right idea, poor execution, I've got to say, from Lewis Hall, though. Don't really like slating a young lad, but very poor execution for Lewis Hall there. He was fantastic against Evan. Fingers crossed he can get back to that. I really, really do like Lewis Hall, personally. Hasn't been given too many chances, but bloody hell against Evan. I thought he was actually very, very good. Uh, Fulham on the ball now. Back to their goalkeeper. I do believe that's Burnt Leno in goal. Never mind, bloody, who's on about Rodak or something. Uh, Fulham's... Passing very well here, actually. Fair play to them. Joe Polina on the ball. Straight to Fabian Shaw. Fabian Shaw can make something of this. Lovely pass. Dinked it between two players, unfortunately. Um, Tossin Aradabeo, the Castle fan, I believe he is. Gets it ahead of Alexander Isak. Um, Rodrigo Munez up top, bloody hell. I think it's going to be a, a free kick for Fulham here. I can't say exactly what for. But uh, I th actually, I think it might be an offside. Um, ah, it's a free kick for Fulham. Somehow. <laughs> uh, that's what you can get by the way for, for the members in the chat you can get them sort of pictures and all that sort of stuff but uh, you can get a lot more so I really do appreciate that ladies and gentlemen you can get exclusive um, videos as well by the way so I but uh, ladies and gentlemen look if you haven't already, please do like the video. We're trying to break the, the like record. Subscribe if you want you for all Newcastle United content. Bloody hell, fingers crossed. Ooh, Joe Willick nearly nicked it off. Is that Joe Polina dropping in a right back, I believe it is? Andreas Pereira on the ball now. Alex Awobi. Ooh, Fulham's got numbers here. Tom Kearney, very nice ball. Out to Willian. Willian's got Anthony Robinson with him. He used... Jesus Christ, what on earth was that? Willian done a little outside the football there. Um, Munez tried to get on the end of it, and it's a goal kick for Newcastle United. Miles off it. Completely miles off it. But that midfield again, lads, honestly, it's like it's like it's one pass and it's just completely outdone by. One pass and it's absolutely gone. That's exactly what it feels like. Unlucky by Munez there, mind. Got ahead of Dan Byrne. If you got a good touch on that, it would have been a goal as well. Bloody hell. Um, how do you think that Lewis Miley 
is a similar age to you, honestly. I'm 17, Lewis Smiley. So I feel like I've failed in life, honestly. I do. No, I don't, man. Lewis Smiley's just, he's absolutely exceptional, isn't he? What? He's done unbelievable for himself, really. You, you've got to give credit to the lad. He's played in Champions League games this season. Champions League. What a lad, honestly. I'd love to meet him someday, man. Uh, honestly. Well, he's, he's such a role model for, for younger kids who support Newcastle as well. Really, really good character I have at the club. Alexander Isak on the left-hand side now. Is he going to shoot? I think Isak was looking for a cross there. That was such a, a timid cross. He cut in as if he was going to finesse it in the top-hand corner, what he always does. But Fulham are breaking now. Fulham are doing very, very good on the counter-attack, by the way. Uh, Willian on the left-hand side. There's, there's numbers back for Newcastle here, by the way. Even Isak's dropped in very, very deep. Bloody hell. Uh, Jao Polina on the ball. Tossing out of Bayo. Isak's went back to striker. Thank God he's playing as a bloody CDM there. It's now... Uh, it's out of... It's Castan Bloody hell. Since, since when did Castagna play for Fulham? I thought he was still at Leicester. Honestly, my ball knowledge since I've stopped playing FIFA is getting uh, pretty poor. I'm just going to say that. Castagna, right back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, bloody hell. But uh, it's, it's just going to be a Newcastle United's ball here, by the way. There, there was absolutely nothing of that. But someone's just said in the comments there as well, something to look forward to if we do kind of get a little bit struggling in this game. Harvey Barnes to bring off the bench. Ellie Anderson to bring off the bench. Very, very promising. Two fantastic players there who, although have been performing better, uh, Ellie Anderson has been performing better than Sean Longstaff. Maybe Ellie Anderson is just a much better impact player. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't start because I love him to start. Uh, as I'm saying that, Fulham are on the attack. Yeah, Fulham in the box. Fabian Shaw, clearance. Jacob Murphy clears it straight to a Fulham player. What was that? And it's a very poor shot from Tom Kearney there. Goal kick for Newcastle United. Completely off target. What on earth was going on in there? Um, how's Newcastle started off? I mean, if you've been, if you've been listening, it's... Just been okay. It's been okay. No special, mate. But I think both teams have just been kind of getting into the the, the, the mix of the game, so to speak. Martin Dubravka takes a goal kick, yeah. How about Dubravka? So honestly, we need to make the, the balls from Dubravka work, man. Every time it's like no one wants to move from or anything. Uh, ball sent up long. Gordon loses the tussle. Joe Willick. Anthony Gordon wins it. That lad's work rate, man. Honestly... Bloody hell, that was, that was quite poor from Willick. Of, uh, Willick, man, what is that work rate? So a, a ball came in there and Joel kind of, kind of just left it. Honestly, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, Fulham do have the throne. About to be taken by Timothy Castagne. Castagne. Lasagne. I'll just call him Lasagne. Uh, no, but Alex Awobi boots it up. Sean Longstaff. Oh, never mind. Sean Longstaff. Fabian Shaw. Lovely header. Calvin Bassi back to Burnt Leno. First time kick. Wow, they're normally very dodgy from the goalkeepers. Lovely by Burnt Leno there. Uh, with Jesus Christ, Williams. He's After all his time of playing in the Premier League, he's dribbling like an absolute 17-year-old maestro. Bloody hell. Alex will be on the ball now. Lovely ball to Castagne. That's not good for us. Castagne. Willian. Blocked by Sean Longstaff. Willian again. Oh my God, it's wayward. It's weird. That's another good chance for Fulham. They are piling on the pressure here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Very good chance for Fulham here. And Sean Longstaff's down. I believe that Sean Longstaff, he was down. Uh, he got hit with the ball. I think. Uh, I don't believe it'll be an injury. He literally just got the ball pelted off him from a volley. Willian absolutely sm Oh, to be fair. Willian smashes the ball off a volley, right? And as soon as he hits it, Sean Longstaff's holding his arm. I hope that hasn't bloody, like, pulled a muscle in his arm or something like that. Or, you never know. No, Sean Longstaff looks absolutely fine. He's absolutely fine. He's back up and running. Good news, I guess. Look, he hasn't had a bad performance as of yet. We'll back the lad. We'll, we'll back the lad. We'll, we'll just say that. That's all we'll say. Lewis Hall on the ball now. Gives it Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon's every game. You just see him getting pushed by the defenders. He got pushed there. Bit of a... A heavy pass there, if, if I do say. Alex Awobi against Lewis Hall now. Awobi on the ball. Finds Willian yet again. Willian's been the, the man of the moment in this game. Andres Pereira whips one inside the box. And Lewis Hall blocks it well in there, Lewis Hall, son. Lewis Hall looks quite angry there. Actually, he's not getting any help whatsoever. Bloody hell. Uh, that That is um pretty worrying, by the way. I mean, Willian's just been left to sort of roam this whole game. He's been in a free position every single time. Bloody hell. Castagna on the ball again. Tossing out of the bail. Fulham's making this their bloody training ground. Jeez, I know it is the wrong ground, but they are making this the training ground. Alex Iwobi now. Whips one into Rodrigo Munez. He's been on form recently. Don't let him get a shot off. Tries to play a ball through. Intercepted by Big Dan Byrne. Very, very well done. 
um, a ball played through there by Sean Longstaff, and that's intercepted by Joao Polina. Joao Polina recruits the ball yet again. No one's given him options at the minute. Tom Kearney. Tom Kearney's actually a very good footballer, by the way. Me and my dad have been speaking about him for so long. Uh, in what championship days, that's when I wanted to say him. Not so much now. But uh, Alex Awobi on the ball again. Awobi, uh, uh, Willian. These have been two very alive players for Fulham so far. Uh, Martin Dubravka has picked it up. It's a very loose ball by Alex Awobi, uh, funnily enough. But um, Fulham starting off very well here, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty worrying. Every single attack has came through Fulham. Awobi, Willian, uh, pff, Honestly, well, we need to take with chances here, by the way. Dubravka plays it straight out with Dan Byrne, who gives it Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall through ball, tries to get it at Joe Willick. It's straight to Joe Polina at Castagna. Oh, no, it is Joe Polina. Honestly, I can't tell between them two. It will be breaks on the right-hand side. In the box, thankfully, away by Emil Kraft. Bloody hell, these are absolutely peltering us. What's going on here? Not great whatsoever. It will be allowed to just... Go through that right-hand side and, unfortunately, get past Lewis Hall. Like, it's absolutely nothing. Bloody hell. Really need to wake up here, by the way. Fulham's playing with us as if we're, like, three years old or something. Andres Pereira. Set up with the ball in now from a corner. Ball's in. Dubravka gets a hand to it. Thankfully, he does as well because absolutely no one was getting to that. It will be on the ball again. It will be. Tandemi Robinson. Somehow he's on the right hand side. He's naturally a left back. Tom Kearney. Tom Kearney. It will be. It will bloody hell, man. These are playing like we're not even here. Castagna in the box. Oh my god. Joao Polina misses a very good chance for Fulham. Lads, what is going on here? Fulham are absolutely battering. We're, honestly, every ball in the box is being uncontested. Jesus Christ. We're getting absolutely run ragged here. This is this is Fulham, by the way. This isn't Paris Saint-Germain who have played this season. Fulham's unlucky to score there, by the way. Joao Polina could have done so much better in that shot. Definitely a hard angle, but um, many players would have scored from that angle. But bloody hell, what, what's going on yeah? This is terrible from Newcastle, this. This is, this is terrible. Anyways, ball sent by Martin Dubravka. Straight to a Fulham player, though. Alex Awobi on the ball again. He's not Meg Joe Willick, Jesus Christ. Alex Awobi's having a, a man of the match performance so far. Willian now. Tom Kearney outside of the box. Lads, get a grip of yourselves. What's going on, yeah? Tom Kearney. Willian. Anthony Robinson. The, these are just being uncontested. Honestly, no one's even pressing the players. Tom Kearney again. Andreas Pereira outside the box. How, how are they allowed to get these many passes off in Newcastle? Just kind of sitting back on them, letting them do the passes. They're going to find a way, you know. The way people are scoring is just one pass straight through our midfield. Lovely pass there by Andreas Pereira. And it looks like it's going to be a corner. No, it's not. Lewis Hall keeps it out. Passes it straight to a Fulham player, though, unfortunately. Fulham's got the ball again. Oh, my God. It's a corner by Fulham again. What's going on ya? What's going on ya? Lads, this is becoming a case of them sort of games where we get absolutely battered for the first half and somehow we end up going and win the game by, like, a, a moment of magic from Isak or something like that. Honestly, I kind of bet to watch these games, man. They are so, so, like... I anticipating is a word because you know what's going to happen. But at the same time, man, honestly, why do they do this to us? Why do they do this to us? Another corner to be taken here by Andreas Pereira. In the box. Bloody hell, Fulham actually got a header off that time and it's away by Newcastle United. Gordon leaves it in contested, uncontested, I should say. Uh, Andreas Pereira picks it up again. Pereira looks to switch it. He does to Tom Kearney. Now, we've actually pushed them back once. Thankfully, we've actually pushed them outside of uh, our sort of half once. They've had to play it all the way back. Bloody hell, thank the Lord. They've been running us ragged so far. Calvin Bassi now. They're going to push on here. They've, they've been targeting Lewis Hall on this left-hand side. We, we can't say that. Lewis Hall versus Alex Awobi. They have really been targeting us there. Alex Awobi still on the ball now. Plays it wide. Anthony Robinson. William tried to pass it there, but thankfully Emil Kraft's actually done quite a bit good this game. We've got a little bit of an open gap there, by the way. And uh, Alex Awobi nearly seen that open gap. William now to Tom Kearney. Anthony Robinson across inside the box. Oh, my God. 
What a save by Dubravka. What am I watching, y'all? What am I watching, y'all? We are getting absolutely battered. Minute in, minute out. Um, Shaw misjudges the ball. Andreas Pereira could have easily scored there if he sorted his foot out. Jesus Christ, man. Is it going to be another corner for Fulham? Did I actually miss that? Is it going to be another corner for Fulham? It is as well. How many corners have these had? How many corners have these had, man? Andreas Pereira in the box. Out by Fabian Shaw. Lads, nah, do you know what it is? I'm going to have to search up how many corners they've had. That's actually embarrassing, by the way. It's actually embarrassing how much they, they, they've battered us so far in this game. Right, they've had... Five corners in 18... Well, do you know what it is? It's not, that, it's not like excruciatingly bad, like, but Jesus Christ. 18 minutes and they've had five corners. Bloody hell, man. They've absolutely battered us so far. Uh, Burton had no on the ball. We were finally pushed them out of the, the comfortable area, which has been our bloody box. Andreas Pereira on the ball again. Switches it wide. They're, they're so dangerous. Oh, my God. William goes past Kraft like it's now. Kraft brings William down, and it's a free kick for Fulham. I wouldn't say a dangerous... Oh, my God. How's Kraft booked for that? To be fair, actually, I think it probably was a booking. But Krath is booked for Newcastle United. Not what you need for your wing-backs, especially when um, the, the likes of Fulham have been so, so like, dangerous from that position. I don't believe that was a freak, uh, a yellow card, by the way, because Williams' touch was so far away from... I mean, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have got that ball. His touch was so far away from where he actually was going to be. Anyways, free kick to be taken by Fulham here. Something needs to change quickly. Kieran Tripp, you understand there. Bloody hell, can he not come on new trips? Bloody needing you at the minute, lad. <laughs> uh, Tom Kearney and Andres Pereira, the two usual suspects, uh, standing over the ball here. Honestly, we need to switch on from these. We need to switch on from these sort of positions. It's not been good enough, so it's not been good enough at all recently. Uh, Andres Pereira is going to take it now. We've set up pretty nicely here. Ball's not whipped in. It's very short to, to Willian, who plays it to, to, to toss an arrow to be. Oh, Lewis Hall's got a two-man job here. Lewis Hall does very, very well. It's a goal kick as well. Very well done there, Lewis Hall. Calvin Bassi tried to get a corner kick out of that and um, try to kick it off Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall guards it, and it's not a goal kick. Uh, it's not a corner kick, I should say. It's a goal kick for Nika. Oh, it is a corner kick. My <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, my God. This is actually getting a bit annoying now. These have absolutely battered us so far. I thought that was a bloody goal kick, man. Anyways, corner kick to be taken now. Very wide. We've never had a corner kick like that before. Sort of an outswinger by Fulham. Um, it came with absolutely nothing again. This is this is getting a bit of an excruciating thing to watch this, I swear to God. Uh, Anthony Robinson now dribbles forward. It goes past Isak like it's nothing. William on the ball. They have to play it back. Honestly, what's going on, yeah? What is going on, yeah? We're pressing, right? But 76 possession, Fulham. 76% of possession has went to Fulham in 20 minutes. Five corners, eight attempts to Fulham, zero from Newcastle. What is going on, yeah? What is going on, yeah? Jesus Christ, man. Anyways, Castagna gives it Andres Pereira. These have been by far the better. I won't even. Do you know what it is? Normally in sort of games, I will try and deny that, right? But these have, these have absolutely battled us so far. Thrown for Newcastle United here. Uh, on the right-hand side, Emil Kraft will take. But bloody hell, sort yourselves out here, lads. Uh, it's starting to become more of a... Oh my God, Dubravka's down holding his knee. I'm not joking, Dubravka's down holding his knee. This doesn't look good, lads. This does not look good. How, how is this happening, man? How does this keep on happening? The Bravka's down holding his knee. This this doesn't look good. The camera's on Loris Karius. Oh, bloody hell, man. Th this has got to be a joke now, these injuries. You know, honestly, week in, week out. How, how are these injuries actually a thing? Like, seriously, how are these injuries actually a thing? It's getting ridiculous now. Like, it's it's genuinely getting ridiculous. The lads are having a, a sort of break right now. Bloody hell, how many people are taking a video of the lads having a break? <laughs> but I... It, it's, that's that's actually uh, that's a joke. That by the way, if the Bravka is injured, the lads are taking a rest now. Eddie Howe wants to give them a right bloody good talk, and they've been they've been playing so terrible. They have. If Eddie Howe's taking a break, I'm taking a little water break as well. Lads are an apple juice break, I should say. The lads are coming back onto the pitch now, though. It won't be start straight away. Of course, the Bravka is still down right now. Fingers crossed. That's not too serious. 
the physio is on, bloody hell, that's some nice apple juice, that, you know, the physio is on the pitch with them now, fingers crossed he can carry on, but we don't want him risking another massive injury to a bloody hell, man. He looks okay. He, he looks okay. I think the the physio's gonna wrap something. He's gonna wrap something around his leg. No, he's not just gonna let him carry on. Bloody hell! Let's not hope, right? Let's not hope that Dubravka looks okay now. And tomorrow we get the message, right? Uh, Newcastle United can confirm that Martin Dubravka is out for six to nine months with an ACL injury or something like that, man. Jesus Christ, that would be our luck all over. But look, nevertheless, Emil Kraft takes the throw in. We'll carry on. Uh, Loris Karius is not coming on. Dubravka is starting. Oh. How are boys? Eddie Howe's had a good talking to you there. Come on. D use, that, use that knowledge from that fantastic man to change this game around. Bruno J sends it long. Straight to Jao Polina, unfortunately. Willian keeps it in. Just. Fulham have to go back now. The pressing looks a lot better from Newcastle here. Uh, we've pressed them all the way back to Burnt Leno. Nothing to get too excited about because I will get excited about that. And we'll go and play terrible for the next 40 minutes. But uh, much better from Newcastle United. Well in by Big Dan Burn. Unfortunately, terrible pass away, but unbelievable interception. Ball sent forward now. I just get a... Why the hell am I getting really notifications on my phone for Blythe Spartans? What on earth's that about? Uh, anyways, ball sent forward to Martin Dubravka there. Big Dan Burn on the ball now. Sean Longstaff, ball... Straight to a Fulham player, man. Straight to a Fulham player, man. How well, long stuff. Friggin' hell, man. Week in, week out, this is happening, you know. I know it's 20 minutes in, but week in, week out, it's, it's performance after performance. This kid can't string a pass together. I, I hate going in on him, right? And it's actually appalling that I have to say it every time. But he's just so hopeless, man. Honestly. Get Elliot Anderson starting in that midfield. I'm telling you now. Fulham's on the ball. Calvin Bassey sends it back to Burnt Leno. Like I said, the, full, the 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 pressing is looking a lot better. It is looking a lot better. They get they're getting limited to the attacking areas, trying to target Lewis Hall in that aerial threat yet again. Lewis Hall's done very very well. Lewis Hall to take the throw in here. How are Hall son? How are Lewis Hall son? Right. This is another thing, lads. This is another thing. When we when we go for the throw-ins, right? No one seems to be helping the lads who, who are taking the thrones. No one seems to be helping them at all. There's no, like, urgency to help your team out and actually make something of the move. I don't know why, but there the genuinely never is. A uh, lovely ball by Bruno to Emil Kraft. Emil Kraft is breaking. Come on, Kraft, son. Come on. This is what we like to see. Kraft to Jacob Murphy. First time ball hits straight back off Jacob Murphy. Calvin Bassey hits it straight out. Uh, bro, that's a That's a foul. Rodrigo Munez, a lovely little hold up play. Fabian Shaw fouls him to throw it's a free a free kick for, for Fulham. <sighs> Fulham's done fantastic so far, by the way. They've genuinely done very, very good. Bloody hell man. Well, what's going on here in Newcastle? What is going on? Burnt Leno now. They're just passing it around with. Honestly, it's ticky tack from Ful from Fulham this. It's just pass, 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 and it's easily, it's that easy to get around with every single time. They're, then, they're not even running, they're just jogging around with. This is a team that's been Paris Saint-Germain, 4-1 this season. Looking at target Lewis Hall again, Alex Zawobi just keeps it in. Dubravka's going to come out and claim. Very well done again by Dubravka, very, very well done. Lovely high claim there. Uh, Lewis Hall on the ball now, come on. Progress with the ball, Joe Willick, that, this is the Joe Willick speciality. Run up that pitch and progress. He doesn't look confident. He, do he doesn't look confident. He's given it a, a Gordon. Lovely by Gordon there. Lovely pass to Sean Longstaff. Oh my God, Longstaff. What is that urgency, man? What is that urgency? Gordon plays the ball through to Longstaff. It's a lovely time through ball there. And he, he's got he's got no no actual ambition to run to the ball. And he just lets a Fulham player get there. I honestly sound like a broken record going on about Sean Longstaff now, and that probably tells you how poor he's been recently. Jesus Christ, man. Fulham's ball now. Aradabeo's getting pressed down by Gordon again. Castagna's getting pressed down by Gordon again. What a player he is. Another free kick for Fulham, given away by Joe Willock. 
Jesus Christ, these are, this is such a boring game to watch, man. These, from a Newcastle perspective at least, these have been battering. Well, it's free kick left, right and centre. It's, what, six corners for Fulham so far? Jesus Christ, get a hold of it, Newcastle. Get a hold of the game. Fulham will take another free kick here. Polina played back to Berlino again. I don't know if Newcastle's been... I don't know if Newcastle's set up differently here, but Fulham are using the goalkeeper so much more. Definitely been limiting them right there. They've, they're not, they've not been battering well like they actually have been. Lovely interception there by Lewis Hall. Unfortunately, Alex Iwobi gets the rebound. Oh, my God. Another close call by Newcastle United. What on earth went on there? Martin Dubravka's holding his leg now. Martin Dubravka is holding his leg now. It looks like he's going to come off. Jesus Christ. That doesn't look good whatsoever. That was a lovely touch there, by the way, from there. Rodrigo Muniz. Jesus Christ, what a touch that was. Um, thankfully, Fabian Shaw gets a hold of him. Big down burn again. But Martin Dubravka looks seriously injured. I, I can't say exactly what happened. I think he, Emil Kraft kind of... I think Emil Kraft kind of kneels on his leg or something like that. Um, and UFC seeing Chase, I love Willick, but he hasn't been himself since the injury. Might be another Botman situation, look. Willick hasn't been the same since, since injury at all. Yeah, you're absolutely fine. Uh, Holly, you've just epitomised what I've said. Longstaff's been terrible again. No urgency, no amb no, not no ambition to play for the badge. That's two completely different things, but no ambition to, like, get into the stride of things. Dubravka's really, really bad, uh, down badly here, by the way. Bloody hell, that apple juice is absolutely unreal. Oh, my God. Honestly, while there's a, there's a little break here, by the way, with um, Dubravka being down, and there's going to be a little break here, I genuinely urge I know there's none left now, but I seriously urge I hate apple juice. Orange juice is clear every day of the week. Orange juice, no bits. But um, away, I'm telling you right now, pink lady apple juice. Oh, my God, lads. I swear, dude, it's absolutely unreal. Right, back on a football. Um, it looks like it's, Loris Carries isn't even warming up, actually. Right, lads, why have I just seen, Dubravka looks okay now after like being bloody injured twice, why have I just seen Loris Karius with his bib on and Mark Gillespie with his bib off? No, 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 none of that, none of that, you know, none of that sort of stuff, I'm not having that, like, if he came on in this game, I swear to God I'm ending the stream right now, I don't care, I'm, I'm ending the stream right now. No, I'm joking, lads. Uh, Dubravka looks okay here, by the way. I will say that. He's walking around, but that's the second time he's went down now. Surely that can't be good. I hope that's not another case of making someone who doesn't want to to, to play on, you know what I mean? Um, ball sent long here, not by Dubravka. Uh, I think that was Fabian Shaw who took it yet again. That's pretty worrying, getting your defender to take it. When Martin Dubravka normally does take the goal kicks, let's hope that he's actually okay when I'm forcing him to play on. Um, bloody hell. Strong challenge there. Bruno in the middle of the park. Another free kick for Fulham. I, this is this is becoming such a frustrating game to watch, man. Honestly, free kick left, right, and centre. <sighs> By the way, if I, if if um, anyone didn't hear that, uh, just to clear it up, Dubravka is playing on, but but Loris Karius is actually warming up just in case. Burnt Leno on the ball now. Fulham's there. Uh, I think they took a free kick or something. I no, they took a yes. They did take a free kick there. Sent forward in the air. Lewis Hall yet again, and he's won in the air again. He's done that so many times against Everton. Joel Willock wins in the air. Longstaff wins in the air. Ball played through. Well, Longstaff plays the ball and it gets intercepted by a Fulham player. You can't make this up, you know. You can't make this up, I swear down. <sighs> Throw on for Newcastle here, by the way. I think Tom Kenny literally just ran that ball out of play for some sort of reason. Um, to be taken by Lewis Hall. Bruno, the only man that wants to help him yet again. Lewis Hall on the ball. Nice little pass to find out Fabian Shaw there. Very well done. Fabian Shaw finds out Emil Kraft. This is better, lads. This is better. Come forward. Oh, I stopped. Right, Sean Longstaff, I would do something for a lad. Plays it back to Dan Byrne. Easy option, but nevertheless, a, a decent option. Lewis Hall now, uh, Anthony Gordon. Gordon and Bruno, lovely pass. Lovely picked out pass. Joe Willick on the left-hand side. When you are in the box now, he's whipped it in the box. Back stick, he's free. <sighs> Very good header by Anthony Robinson. I can't fault him there. Jacob Murphy now. 
Still got the ball here, lads. Come on, this is this is better. Emil Kraft to Bruno J. Bruno slips. Oh, Bruno slips and Fulham are in possession now. Bloody hell, oh, that's unfortunate, that mind. That's unfortunate. I think Fabian Shaw tried to give Muniz a little bit of an elbow there, by the way. Uh, free kick for Newcastle here. Uh, Alex Awobi couldn't keep that into play. Bloody hell, what's going on there? Um, free kick from Newcastle, taken straight away. Anthony Gordon running in his stride. How about Gordon, son? Sean Longstaff. Isak! Oh! Just absolutely smashed me knuckle off there. Ow. But, <laughs> but um, what I was going to say is... Sorry, I had a quarter cough in the middle there. Um, <coughs> Gordon picks out Sean Longstaff. And to be fair to Sean Longstaff, he puts it through the legs of Calvin Bassey. And nearly picked out Alexander Isak. That was a lovely picked out pass. I cannot lie, but... Bit of a poor touch from Isak. If that was better, could have been a goal, but nevertheless, it's a very hard situation to adapt to. So, uh, much better from the lads. We need more of this Newcastle United. Not the start of that 10 15 minutes. Jesus Christ, that was appalling. But, uh, I look, that was absolutely fantastic, lads. Seriously, that, that was absolutely fantastic. We're on the ball again. Bruno picks out Isak. Isak picks out Wolf. Actually got numbers forward. This is good. Willick on this. <sighs> poor touch by Willick. Gordon. Bruno tries to win it, but. Fulham's got the ball now. It was a proper little toss up there, but Fulham have got the ball now. Tom Kearney on the ball. Andreas Pereira, they are going forward very well here. I can't lie. Out of the box shot, and it's well over the bar, ladies and gentlemen. They've tried that um, quite a few times, Fulham. They're looking a little bit desperate now, which, of course, for us is definitely an advantage. They are, they are counter attacking very, very well, but lads and lasses. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see, 110%. Um, ladies and gentlemen, of course, on a little bit of a side note, I don't normally do this, but what do you reckon? Should I do a live match reaction? Of course, this is just a, a live watch along. Should I do a live uh, match reaction after the game as well? I, on, on, of course, I'll put my TikTok video up and then I'll do a... Ooh! Unlucky shot by Gordon there, by the way. Very much so outside of the box. A drill shot on the left-hand side and very, very unlucky to get that on target. But, um... That should I do a live match reaction? You just let me know. But uh, Gordon outside the box. That came out of absolutely nothing. Of course, Anthony Gordon gets goes out of nothing. Some boy. Um, oh, very unlucky. Just about clips the post and bloody hell. He hits a, he hits a bloody security card. <laughs> uh, I'll do that, lads. I'll do that. Don't worry. I will do that. Oh, goal kick for Fulham. Yeah, this is a lot better. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Come on, the boys. Fabian Shaw's running forward with the ball now. Joe Willock on the left-hand side. Him and Gordon are sort of interchanging. Now we've seen that with, with Willock and Joe Linton when they were sort of fit. Uh, Joe Willock, he's got about three players on him now. <sighs> Joe Pellini has been brung down. Looks like it's going to be a free kick for Fulham here. Free kick for Fulham it is. Going to be tamed by Tosin Aradabio. Honestly, lads, I know... To this is on a bit of a side note, but Tosin Aradabio kind of is like that Lloyd Kelly situation. They're both on freeze. Um, Lloyd Kelly, by the way, I mean, look, he's a he's a free agent. He can play centre-back and left-back. He's not going to drastically change the team, but he's cover. I'm taking that every day of the week. Tossing out of for Fulham. Let's keep a little, let's keep a little scout eye watch out. Scout eye watch out for him in this game. Scout eye watch out for him in this game. Bloody hell, that's a mouthful, isn't it? But, uh, I Newcastle on the ball now. Sean Longstaff. Fulham, Fulham's so strong in these tackles, you know. Fulham actually are, like, they are doing very well this game. I've got to give them quite a bit of credit. They are doing very, very well this game. The man of the hour, tossing Arabeo on the ball now. Pretty poor pass, I can't lie. The, the little, the, the scouting eyes aren't doing too well. A bit of a poor pass, but nevertheless, it's a pass. Tom Kearney on the ball. To Willian, tries to play it through. Fabian Shaw's got that every day of the week. And it's, it's a very, very good pass to Sean Longstaff. Didn't boot it out for a bloody corner or anything like that. Sean Longstaff under pressure. Emil Kraft under pressure. Probably the best he could have done. Just booted it away from, from Fulham. Any sort of danger is just absolutely out of the equation there. Joe Polina gives it to William now. Tom Kearney back on the ball. <sighs> Alex Awobi. Uh, Alex Awobi, sorry, that's my bad, bloody Calvin Bassey. It's that bloody daft hair that they've got. That bloody green, pink and blue or whatever hair they've got. <laughs> Alex, Alex, ooh. 
right? I was absolutely, I was, I was genuinely scared for my life there, right? So I said, ooh, because the Fulham players came in, and it was a little bit of a chip where I thought Isak was going to get on the end of it. Isak fell down, I'm thinking, that lad gets injured out of absolutely now. I hope he doesn't um, get, get, get thingy like that. I thought, so, I thought someone just said I spelled Fulham wrong. No, I definitely didn't spell Fulham wrong. Uh, what's the crack? Just judge. Um, what, what? Gordon's in. Gordon's in Fulham. Go on, Gordon, son. Go on, Gordon. Lovely turn. Oh! Unlucky from Anthony Gordon there. Absolutely fantastic. This lad. This lad is absolutely magic. I'm telling you that right now. I don't know how them Everton fans still hate him. Be happy for a lad that's done 10 times better since he left your horrible club. Honestly, what a play Anthony Gordon is. On the left-hand side right now, he had like a 2-on-1. He cuts in at the right, does them both, fake shot, cuts in on his left, shoots with his left foot, and then, unfortunately, it is just wide. What a player he is, man. I mean, he makes goals out of absolutely nothing. What a player he is. Some, honestly, he puts a smile on my face how good Anthony Gordon is. He's such like a... Do you know what it is? When you've got these Brunos and you've got these Isaks, they are the high prof. Oh, my God. Another free kick for, for Fulham here. Jesus Christ, man. When you've got um these sort of high-profile players like Kieran Tripp, yeah, Botman, Isak, Bruno, they always stand out. But Anthony Gordon, he's not the most high-profile name, but Christ almighty, he's been absolutely magnificent in 90% of our games this season. Ball played through by Fulham here. Terrible clearance by Fabian Shaw. They've got a chance here. What a save by Dubravka. It was straight out of the be fair, but oh my god, Shaw had an absolute howler there. Fulham really, really should have scored from that 110%. They should have put that away. Came out with absolutely nothing as well. Ball played through. Shaw had that every day of the week. Misjudged it. Couldn't intercept the pass. And um, Rodrigo Muniz really, really should have put that away for Fulham. Straight in Martin Dubravka. <sighs> fair play. Had to get down for it, didn't he? Had to get down for it. Gordon is the English Messi, he just so is, isn't he? Bruno J's down here, thankfully not for an injury. Thank the Lord, he's just been fouled. Um, not thank the Lord that he's been fouled, mind, but it's a free kick for Newcastle United. Joe Willick's also down here. Joe Willick is actually, like, not for... Oh, medical staff's coming onto the pitch. Medical staff's coming onto the... Honestly, lad. Ah. Oh. Ellie Anderson's coming on. No way Joe Willick's injured. Ellie Anderson's, like, coming on straight away. No way, man. No way. Every single game we're losing a player. Every single game we're losing a... This is actually getting ridiculous now, you know. No, man. So, also, by the way, this means that Sean Longstaff has to play the 90 regardless. Willix come off. Anderson comes on. Man, another injury. You've got to be joking, you know. Honestly, you've got every single week. Who is it going to be next week? Honestly, it's going to be. Do you know what it is? I might as well just make a complete video of a mystery wheel. What? Who's going to be injured next? I didn't even see the. Anderson's on for Willick, which, by the way, I'm not actually complaining about Elliot Anderson because he's been playing fantastic recently. But Joe Willick, man, you you cannot you cannot like you you cannot fault how important he is for Newcastle when he's on his top form. But Jesus Christ, man, how unlucky! Seriously, man, that's so unlucky, man. It's it's actually getting on my nerves now. Elliot Anderson looks like he's playing on the left hand side as well. Bloody hell! Something needs to be investigated now. I'm telling you now. Something needs to be investigated now. If, if he's out for more than six weeks, you know, I, I don't even know what to say, honestly. Lovely by Gordon there. Tries to chip it up. Free kick for Newcastle United. Wow. Free kick for Newcastle United. Breaking news, by the way. Newcastle United have a free kick in this game. It's been about bloody time, honestly. Jesus Christ. Is it still nice outside? That's more entertaining to me than this at the minute, Jesus. Free kick for Newcastle. Oh, Joe Willick would have been perfect for this scenario, by the way. A little bit of a dummy. A little bit of a... A little bit of a... Shimmy. Some, something out of the ordinary. But uh, it looks like it's going to be Murphy to take. Murphy and Lewis Hall stand over it. Or actually, uh, it, it might be Lewis Hall. This is, Since it's like a sort of... An in-swinger Murphy's would be a kind of a, a curved one. I don't know who it's going to be. Looks like Murphy's ready for it, though. No, it's not. It is Lewis Hall. He sends a four to Fabian Shaw. Isak can't get there. It looks like it's going to be a... 
I think is that offside? Goal kick corner offside. I think it's. I think it's going to be offside. Yeah, offside. It's it's going to be a free kick, uh, free kick for Fulham, unfortunately. Honestly, lads, you, you cannot rate that lucky. Now, do you know what it is? I'm going to have a quick look on Twitter now. Uh, of course, just on my right, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you or anything. I'm just going to have a quick look on my right now to see if anyone on Twitter has published any news, like how long he's going to be out for, what the extent of his injury or anything like that is. Honestly, I hope it's not much, you know. Uh, Joe Willick is an unbelievable player when he is fit. He hasn't been performing the best recently because he doesn't look match fit enough. Seriously, he doesn't. Um, right. Let's take a look. And no one said anything. No one said anything, ladies and gentlemen. No. Nothing at all. Right. Guess we're just going to have to kind of wait. Guess we're just going to have to kind of wait, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I will make a video on it as well. But uh, nothing has happened in the game, by the way. Don't, don't use or worry about that. Uh, Fulham's on the ball now. Surprise, surprise in this bloody game. Fulham is on the ball now. Um, Willian, he's, he's actually... Willian is actually surprisingly very, very good. I wasn't familiar with Willian's game, you know. I actually wasn't familiar. Tom Kearney on the ball. He's been pretty decent for Fulham this game as well. Calvin Bassi now. Tom Kearney. Willian. Love... I was going to say lovely outside the ball uh, there, but Martin Dubravka does claim, thankfully as well, how well, lads? Let's make something of this. A minute, a minute and a bit to go left of the half. How well, lads? Come on! Of course, we'll have added time, which will probably be a canny bit. Lewis Hall on the left hand side now. Break forward, son. Go on. Give us something. Very good shimmy there. Very well done, Lewis Hall. On to Anthony Gordon. Back to Elliot Anderson. Come on, this is better, boys. This is better. Get your head up, long stuff. So he's playing the, the easy balls every time, long stuff. Lads, this is lovely. Ain't play. Oh my god. Oh my god, this link up play is lovely. Elliot Anderson, oh, unfortunately, he loses it, though. Longstaff misses the tackle. Very good chance for Fulham, yeah. Chested by Muniz. Oh, my God. What control that was by him, by the way. What control that was by him. And it's going to be a free kick for Newcastle United. Thankfully, unbelievable control by Rodrigo Muniz there. I, I cannot lie. That was fantastic from him. But bloody hell. We've got to switch on, yeah. We have got to switch on, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. People are saying we'll get Europe. Do you know what it is? I'll put a poll up, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think we'll get Europe this season? I tell you what, I bloody hope so. And do you know what it is? I said at the start of this season, I would, I, honestly, my expectation, of course, not knowing anything at the start of the season, January the start, not knowing anything about what, what draws in the FA Cup, Champions League, not knowing the bad luck we were going to get, Tenali, injuries. I said Conference League would be okay. Now, taking all of that into perspective, getting Conference League wouldn't be too bad. So I'll just say... Uh, in the chat, and by the way, nothing's, ha nothing's happening with the game. I've got a goal kick. Don't worry, you're not missing anything. Uh, do you think we'll get Europe? There we go. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I know I haven't said this before, but uh, subscribe if you are new around here, and of course, uh, like if, if you if you haven't already. I really do appreciate, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, all I try to do is just bring the um, the best content, the fastest content, the sort of... Oh, sorry, I was meant to pause the timer there. I do apologise for that. For, I, I hate this timer, you know. It goes to, like, one hour instead of 60 minutes, and I really do need to find a timer that goes to an hour, uh, and that goes to 60 minutes instead of a timer, like a sort of football clock, so to speak. But, uh, I, like I say, all I try to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just bring the... Um, the best content of Newcastle, the fastest, the most reliable, which I genuinely do. No clickbait, no sort of, oh, this might happen. You know what I mean? If, if it might happen, I'm going to say it might happen. I'm not going to drag anything on. That's all I try to do. So subscribe if you want you around here for uh, that, that sort of content, ladies and gentlemen. Don't just think, oh, he's a daft 17-year-old. You lads and nah, I, I nah me football, of course. I go deep in the information. And my own knowledge isn't too bad either, is it? No, but I really do appreciate you all sticking with his lads. Um... Honestly, he's been unbelievable to me at the minute. He's really have. But uh, back onto the game. Newcastle United have the ball now. Lewis Hall sends it up to the pitch. Very well chested by... What a touch that was by Elliot Anderson there. Very, very good turn. And unfortunately, he's just dispossessed by Timothy Castagna there. Unfortunately, by the way, what a touch that was by uh, Elliot Anderson. Dan Byrne wins it. What a ball by Bruno. Outside the foot. Oh, my God. Alexander Isak. 
Very, very good defending there by Calvin Bassey. That's all I've got to say. Very, very good defending there by Calvin Bassey. And Fulham do have the ball now. Fulham are going to break. Just about the 47th minute on my screen, ladies and gents. Alex Awobi on the right-hand side. It's through Fabian Shaw out. And Lewis Hall just knocks it out for a throw-in. It's better than a corner. I'll just say that. It is better than a corner. Alex Awobi takes straight away. They are not messing. Fulham aren't messing about. They are wanting to win this game. I wish we had this ambition that Fulham had. Bloody hell. Lewis Hall on the ball. Bruno J now. Switches his... Very, very good pass. Wow. Unbelievable pass. Happy birthday, Josh, for tomorrow. It's not my birthday tomorrow, mate. My birthday's the 21st of June. But uh, back onto the football. Emil Kraft now. Uh, right back. Do you know what it is? Emil Kraft's actually had a, a pretty decent performance today. I like what I've seen from Emil Kraft. Sure was something, Bruno, son. Sure was something. Anthony going on the left. This is what we like to see. Big Dan Burn now. And we're breaking with Gordon again. We're breaking with Gordon again. Very bad pass there by Anthony Gordon. Straight to Fulham. And they're breaking again. Now, honestly, this is such a, a counter-attacking game. It's going Fulham's end, our end. End-to-end -end game. Much, much easier to say that, Josh. Back on that side with Willian again. Jesus Christ, man. This lad's 50 years old and he's been the man of the match so far. Tom Kearney. Jao Polina, he's still a uh, no wonder by in one term, by the way. No wonder by in one term. Uh, it's it's five five added minutes, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. On my screen right now, it's 48 minutes and uh, 30 seconds and so. Not long left to play at all. I uh, think your live stream is more entertaining than this game. Thank you very much. You know what it is? I don't find my own live streams very entertaining because I did and bloody shut up. But, um... Oh, it, it's got to be more entertaining than watching this bloody crap at the minute. That's that's all I'm going to say, lads. William back on the ball. Thomas Kearney. Thomas Kearney? Bloody hell. None his mom. I'm trying to say his full name. Uh, Anthony Robinson on the left-hand side. Tries to do a step over. Completely fails. Tom Kearney whips it in. And Warby all the way over on the right-hand side. Walks past Lewis Hall like he's not there. Lewis Hall, very good clearance. Well in sun. And less than a minute left for play now, lads. Less than one minute. Come on. Hold on. It's half time, lads and lasses. Hold on. Very good block. Very good block, Longstaff, son. Very good. He's giving it. He's giving it. It wasn't even Longstaff. Nee Wonder wasn't Longstaff doing something good. Jesus Christ, man. Nee Wonder. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Fulham's back, Fulham's back in the equation, yeah. They're, they've, they've whipped the ball into the box. Out. They're, they've came in again. Tossing out a be Full. I was just going to say full time. Jesus Christ, it's half time. Thank the Lord, it's half time, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, do you know what it is? Um, wait, let's get the, the second half sort of thing. Where, where did I put that second half thing? Is it here? Second half. I'll put it there. Oh, wait, no. I'll put it there. Just so you know it's the second half. So um, when it when it goes to like the, the bloody one hour thing, it won't say second half, if you know what I mean. But look... What's your thoughts on that first half, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop out of the kitchen in just a second and get myself another glass of that bloody gorgeous orange juice, apple juice. But what do I think of that first half? Do you know what it is? Anthony Gordon, he's been outstanding. Alexander Isak yet again. It's been a case of when he's got the ball, he looks electric. But he's not been... He's just not been given that much service, has he? Jacob Murphy, not been performing the best. Sean Longstaff, not been performing the best. Let, let's just say that again. But um, honestly, lads, it's, 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 it's not been good, has it? Let's just say that. It's not been good. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be around. I'm going to be around a minute. I am going to go and get another glass of orange. Apple juice, because that was absolutely fantastic. I'll quickly knock this uh, bottle of water back. So I'll be two minutes, lads. Um, and you let me know, actually, we always do this. You let me know, rate that half, if you've been watching, of course, if you haven't, rate it on my uh, commentary recommendation, very posh there, but rate it on my commentary recommendation, what you would rate that first half, and also if you have been watching it, let me know what you rate that first half out of 10, I'm just going to say 5, uh, that's all I'm going to say ladies and gentlemen, and I will be right back.
Right, we're back at Adam if you, if you heard that right there or not. But you know what it is, ladies and gentlemen? I was thinking something, right? Okay, well, we'll quickly get to what you read this first half. We'll quickly have a look at that. Got the fantastic orange. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying apple juice again, mate. Do you know what it is? I probably won't either. Why am I saying orange juice every single time? Bloody hell, man. Um, right, so you have said, ladies and gentlemen, you've said that first half. You've read it. Um, 8.8 out of 10. Bloody hell, I tell you what, that's that's very generous, I will say that. 6 out of 10, bad half, but Fulham had us all over. Fully agree with you, Fulham absolutely battered us, especially on the, the opening, what, 20 minutes? Honestly, it was like it was, like it was a training drill. Let's set Fulham attack, but Newcastle, you, you're not allowed to, to actually, like, tackle the ball off, off um, bloody Fulham. 4.3 out of 10. 5.5. 4.5. .5, 4 out of 10. 1 over 3, 3 over 10, 3. Bloody hell, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, at least you are agreeing with us. Um, I've just got to say as well, y you all know I have been a little bit unwell now. <laughs> I'm not normally one to have one of these, but um, as you can see, I, I haven't put a bit of weight on, and I'm not pregnant either, but I just, I do have uh, if a hot water bottle, honestly. I Don't blame us. It's got this big, bloody, fluffy thing, you know, honestly. It's my, it's my, it's my sister's, but I've been getting some very bad stomach pains. So really, don't judge us on that, you know. I've got to put that, and of course, for the second half, I've got to take it off. Uh, I can't be letting the lads down like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, what's the ambition to be? Hashtag number one. What's the possession against Fulham? Twenty five. Ah, uh, I know exactly what you mean there. Honestly, lads. Oh, one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting a ring from my dad. I'll be two seconds. Uh, that's. He's not going to be happy about this first half, by the way. <laughs> Right, he wasn't happy about that first off, let's just say that ladies and gentlemen, bloody hell, <laughs> he wasn't happy about that first off, that's all I will say, but look, do you know what it is, it's one of them things, of course, well, I've got Harvey Barnes to sub on, no doubt he'll, he'll definitely come on in this game, but I would have liked to have Elliot Anderson on in this game, I would have liked to, to actually bring Elliot Anderson on, but look, I hope, actually, do you know what it is, we'll see, I'll take a look now if anyone said anything on the Joe Willick injury. Um, any sort of journalist, of course, not just anyone in general. That would be very unreliable. But, nah. Nah. Nothing at all. Looks like we're going to have to wait, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I, looks like there's going to be no Joe Willick news and we're just going to have to wait until it actually comes out from a from a bloody reliable journalist. Hey, hey. What happened to Willick? Oh, if you don't know what happened to Willick, ladies and gentlemen, he got he got took off injured. Not that we want to say it whatsoever, but oh, it's it's just our look at the minute. Seriously, it is. I don't know what he got brought off with. I don't know how he even done it. They just these players are getting injured by the most minuscule thing, the most minuscule thing, and they're getting taken off. It's it is really getting annoying now, mind it. It actually is getting like on me nerves a lot. 
Oh my god, that's lovely, lad. Oh. Thank you very much, Jackson, mate. Lads, you know what it is? There's nothing even a, to, to talk about at half time. Like, seriously, I'd normally be full of words, but this first half has been so, so poor, man. It actually has been. Um, what can we even do with that lineup? Gordon on the right, Murphy off, Harvey Barnes on the left. It's got to be. I mean, I know Gordon doesn't play particularly well on the right, but we've got to have him on that pitch. I'll tell you that now. Um, do you know if he left the stadium? Honestly, lads, I know it's just as much as you, which is, up. I'm guessing, uh, absolutely nothing at the minute. Um, hello, Roman, mate. I hope you're okay. Are Fulham playing well? Like, Fulham are, Fulham are playing well. They are playing very, very well, yes. <sighs> They're battering well. Let's just say that. Fulham actually are battering well. Um, please, no serious injury. And I, I hope it's not either. I mean, we all hope it's not. Never mind. I hope it's not. We all hope it's not a bloody serious injury. But look, seriously, Newcastle need to switch on in the second half. It's as simple as that. We've been too sloppy. There's been no ambition to go out there and win every single ball, which normally is our our football. Get in at every tackle. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not been us, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. It seriously hasn't been us. We need to do something about it, though. Simple as. I think it, I think the the half time set they kick off in like the, the half five minutes or something like that. But bloody hell, it's been absolutely. Crap, man, it has. Hello, mate, I hope you're okay. Hopefully, Dubs is enough now, same. I mean, Dubravka, look, he actually has been pretty decent in this game. I know people were screaming for Loris Curry so he can play as a sweep, I keep on all that sort of stuff. But for me, personally, Dubravka, although he is very sort of weary, weary sometimes, pardon me, doesn't come off his line. Uh, he's not got the best communication with his defenders. His, his reflexes are so much better than Loris Karras. Karras is quite like... His reflexes aren't the best, let's just say that. He, he dives so late than when the ball's actually kicked, which I don't like whatsoever. But, um... I mean, it could be worse. You could be... Ah, that's very true. Yes, that is very true, Angel. That's... Ah, yeah. <laughs> let's just say that. But, I uh, look, I don't want to keep reiterating myself because I'm getting a bit bored now. But big second half needed. <sighs> Switch on. Simple as intensity is our our identity. Doesn't look like it at the minute, does it? Big second half needed from the lads, a hundred and ten percent. Hey, I don't know where we're gonna get it from. Gordon's been fantastic. Who else is there? Like I said, um, bloody hell, that's worrying, isn't it? Bruno J's been good. Croft's uh, actually been okay. Lewis Hall's been okay. Shaw's been okay, apart from that little moment of madness. Burns been okay. Dubravka's been okay. There's not been any standout players whatsoever. <sighs> just get it started, lads. Just just get it pretty started. Yeah, hey, hey, I'll tell you something. Oh. Where do I reckon it went went wrong in this game, lads? Where where do you actually reckon it went wrong? Something's got went like badly wrong, by the way, because this isn't any sort of like, a one-off performance. This has been going on for quite a while now. We've been allowing teams to, to like, battle and then come out the dock and, and actually give them a game and maybe win. But bloody hell. They, like, it, it actually... They, they've been battering with this game, Fulham. Simple as. Isak, actually... Someone said that, right? Shane's just said that, who's just become a member. Thank you very much for that. But Isak actually has been good in defence. I don't know how, but Isak genuinely has been getting back very, very well. Probably is going to be well, one next defender recently with all these with all these injuries, man. <laughs> hey. Oh, the well has dying off out there. Now it's going to go right today. Now is it? Nothing's going to go right today. Just get the second half up and running, man. How? Uh, I think it's about two minutes time. I'm actually getting a bit bored now. <sighs> get it on. Get it on and done with, lads. Let's just let's just see out the game. Get them three points. We'll forgive you forevermore. Oh, Wolves are beating West Ham, lads. Wolves are beating West Ham. That's kind of better news, but that does also mean that Wolves are actually ahead of us in the table right now. Uh, we, oh, wait, no. No, it doesn't. We've got better goal difference in them. So, if we want to keep it competitive, Wolves, de Wolves beating West Ham and Wolves... Getting a, or, or a draw in general is definitely better than West Ham beating Wolves. Let's just say that. Any other scores around the doors? Aston Villa beating Brentford 2 0. Everton beating Burnley. Doesn't really matter with us. But I, Wolves beating West Ham 1 0. 
I mean, that, that's good for us, that lads. That, that's that's pretty decent for us, you know. Turn that heater back on. Oh. At least the women's team's doing. The women's team are actually doing. Not that I'm keeping complete tabs on the women's team, but they are doing very, very good at them. I and mean, I believe it's like one point or something or, or another win. And the, the mathematically win, honestly, they've done fantastic this season. I need to start going to more games of them in my free time. Oh my god, that's unbelievable, lad. Second off, not going to kick off now. Hello, Niall, mate. I hope you're all okay. Um, second off, not kicking off, lads. Five past. Don't believe it is. Oh, for some reason, it's, it's like we've been cursed. The the, the bloody the, the game doesn't want to work. The weather's went bad. We're playing terrible. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus bloody Christ. Owen Rickaby with the £1.99. Thank you so much, Owen, bro. I really do appreciate that. Could I get a follow back on TikTok, bro? Do you know what for that, Owen? Drop your TikTok down below, mate. Um, and I, I, Actually, I'll tell you what, Owen. Do, don't do that. Um, I'll post a match. I'll post a, a match score uh, what like a, a match reaction uh, of this Fulham game so get on that and um put put in the comments you 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 were the one that donated that one pound 99 and i will follow you back man i really do appreciate that oh and go and have a fantastic day mate honestly i, I really do appreciate them donations lads i never force you to i never tell you to but when you just do it i honestly i really do appreciate that thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and it still hasn't kicked off by the way that that doesn't that hasn't sort of like that hasn't rushed it. <laughs> I don't know how it does. I think it's going to be the last advert now. I think it is going to be the last advert. Hopefully. I mean, it wants to be as well. Josh Tenali to score. Huh? I read it. <laughs> Tenali to score. I have a feeling that one's not going to happen, idea. I don't know why. I just have a little bit of a feeling that one's not going to happen. Oh. <sighs> I think it's set to kick off, yeah, but of course I've got that. I've got this timer right here, which I'll let run for a little bit, which I've got to wait until the 45th minute and the 34th second to actually start it up again because I waited that pretty long. Oh, wait, lads, I think. Have we got some injury news here? No, I haven't. It's just, it just says new injury blow. No, nothing new at all. Right. Second half about to kick off, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Lads, big second half needed. Big Big second half, not good enough in the first half whatsoever, not good enough, no fight to go for every single ball, no determination to get into every single tackle, some of the passes sloppy, get into this half, let's go and win it ladies and gentlemen, how are the boys, there's that man Anthony Gordon, bloody hell, he would he would win us that game single handedly if he could, Alexander Isak's going to kick us off, yeah? And he does, how are the boys, big second half, yeah? Let's get this bloody, um... Let's get this. Me sister's. What is it again? Hot water bottle away from me, bloody belly, honestly. I am feeling a bit better now, especially with them. But look, away from the hot water bottles, it's back onto the football, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, starting off from Fulham straight away. We kicked off, and somehow it's already with their goalkeeper. This team is so unpredictable, man. Uh, tossing our Rabeo on the ball now, striving forward. Bloody hell, he's went past like five, six, seven players. Very good tackle by Lewis Hall there. I really do like Lewis Hall, mate. I know some people kind of, they weren't impressed with him against Evan. With with me personally, I was like, eh? He, he performed very, very good against Evan. In my opinion, of course, he did get taken off with, was it fatigue or like a, a rib because he's holding his arms up like that? I don't know what it was, but... I really was impressed with Lewis Hall. Hasn't done too bad a day, by the way, because they, they have um they have been sort of like targeting them as well. Every ball in the airs went for Lewis Hall, and every sort of run has went for Lewis Hall as well. But Newcastle have got a free kick, yeah. Not through Lewis Hall, just a, a regular free kick. I, I I missed that. That's that's my bad there. Bruno G you take. Bruno whip the ball in. Bruno whips the ball in. He's looking for... I think he's looking... Was he looking for Gordon there? It was miles offside. Ball played through. Jacob Murphy whips. Tries to go for a little Van Basten air shot there. But then, look. Jacob Murphy completely over the bar. Goal kick Fulham. Hey. <sighs> Honestly. When you... When you... When you... Do better crosses than that. 
Uh, oof, not great to hear now, mate. I hope you and your, your, your family members are okay. Hope everything's fine, lad. Don't you worry about leaving. Don't, don't you worry. Uh, supporting your Castle United. Bad for health. You can say that one again. You can say that one again. <laughs> Just realise you're not a member anymore. Don't worry about it, Jake, bro. Um... Don't worry about it at all. Ball played forward yet again. Went for Lewis Hall again. They're doing it every single time. And the lad is actually coping with it very, very well. He's so capable of balls in the air for such a young lad as well. Uh, João Polina on the ball. He he's such a tiny little Rodri-esque player, isn't he? Calvin Bassi on the ball now. Plays it wide to Andy Robinson. Tom Kenny. Uh, what a player he's been the day. Another player who's been class. Did they keep it in there? No, they didn't. Front for Newcastle. Yeah, they had a little bit of a, a one-two play going on there, which was actually very, very good. But it's going to be a throw for Newcastle United. Yeah, thankfully as well. These lot are piling on the pressure. Yeah, they are certainly piling on the pressure. TV taken by Emil Kraft. Rodrigo Munez. Thank God Munez had a little bit of a, a, a very bad pass there. Honestly, this has become such a weird game. It's very hard to narrate, but... What's going on, yeah? See, what, what's going on, yeah? Like, Anthony Robinson's just won the ball back. Isak took it off him. Isak plays a pass, goes straight back to Fulham. Uh, very, very well. NUFC, Shane with the three pounds. Uh, with the three pounds, seriously. I was looking at the, the three legs there. Gordon's breaking forward, yeah? Go on, Gordon, son. Ball on the... Very good tackle by Ara De Beal there. Oh my God, that was an Isak territory every single day of the week. NUFC, Shane with the one pound. Thank you very much, Shane. I really do appreciate that. Uh, honestly... Absolute legends if you donate. Shane, I think I already follow you back on TikTok. I'm pretty sure I followed you back a long, long time ago. But look, absolute legend. Go and have a fantastic day, mate. I really do appreciate that. Um, Josh, can you send us a link to become a member? I'm pretty sure I'd, there's a, just a join button which works. But if not, I, I will send you if you do need a Jake, bro. 110%. Uh, Burn Leno sends the ball forward. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. That's my... Oh, I forgot to do the timer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. No way. I forgot that's gonna look like that's gonna look so far behind now. I forgot to do the bloody timer, man. Wait, can I can I like edit it? I don't think I can, you know. I don't think I can. Oh my god, that that's that's my fault by the way, ladies. Oh wait. That's my fault by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I forgot to do it. I'm literally three minutes ahead of that timer there. Try and try and take no notice of that timer there. Oh, no way, that's, act that's actually going to look so bad. Try and take no notice of the timer there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh my god, that, that, that's my apologies there, ladies and gentlemen. That is my apologies. I'm literally on the, the 50th minute right now. That's my apologies, ladies. That I really do apologise for that. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, full and breaking with the ball. Yeah, we'll, we'll forget about that. Look, 50th minute in my time. Oh, I can't believe that, you know. That's so, so annoying. Isak plays the ball wide to Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon breaks. Go on, Gordon, son. Go on, Gordon. Whips in. Saved by Burn. Oh, Jacob Murphy just can't get there. Bloody hell, man. Long stuff, that's a free kick every day though. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if that was a yellow. Oh my god. Oh fantastic by Gordon yet again. Always rely on him, man. Always rely on him. Why is Gordon blinking like that? What why is Gordon actually blinking like that? Oh, Sean Longstaff has been handed the yellow, by the way. Um, yeah. So long stuff has been and it was a, a dirty little drag back. I mean Fulham could have broke forward there. Yellow by Sean Longstaff. <sighs> Becoming so hard to watch this man. This is this is, you, you can see from the start of the video I've got my hopes up. I'm so energetic. And in this it's it's not great. Fabian Shaw's down here. Oh my god man. What does this football club do? I swear down. Injury after injury. Terrible performance after terrible performance. Fabian Shaw's down. Fabian Shaw's down getting medical treatment. You, you kind of write this up, you know. I swear down, you, you kind of write this up. No problem, Jake. Have a good one, bro. You have a good one, mate. 
Fabian Shaw is down again. You can't write this up, man. <sighs> Looks like Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes is coming on. Harvey Barnes is coming on for Fabian Shaw coming off. I'd love to see how we're switching up here, by the way. <sighs> Nothing being uh, confirmed just yet, mind. But Harvey Barnes has took his top off and Fabian Shaw is getting medical treatment. He doesn't look too bad, by the way. He is still stretching and sort of stuff, but... You, you never know. Honestly, you, you never know. Hmm... Honestly, lads, I, I'm starting to fall asleep now. That, that's how that's how bad it is. I'm starting to fall asleep, but hey, I could just I could nod off now. I swear down. Wake us up when we score something, lads, please. No, I'm joking. Unfortunately, I do have to watch this. I do have to watch this. Absolute crap, man. Absolute crap. This has been so so bad. It seriously has. Oh God. Right, so Fabian Shaw. Fabian Shaw does come off. And uh, Harvey Bonds does come on. So what we've done is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's my bad, actually. Fabian Shaw's stayed on. Now, Fabian Shaw stays on. Fantastic news. But I hope this isn't a case of, like, Fabian Shaw staying on and getting, like, a, a worsened injury. If you know what I mean. Like, honest to God. Uh, I hope that isn't going to be the case of this, by the way. But no, Fabian Shaw comes straight back on. And he's he's up in the air straight away, bloody hell. He's won he's won a tussle straight away. Get in there, Shaw son. But uh no. Fabian Shaw straight in. Get in there. That's what we like to say. I thought because uh Emil Kraft went right centre back, Jacob Murphy went right back, Harvey Barnes came on, but no. Harvey Barnes is not on. Oh, Sean Longstaff gives it straight away with a full player. You, you can't it right this this lad man get <sighs> This, these performances from this lad. Aston Villa 2, Brentford 1. Scores on the doors. Uh, Emil Kraft. Emil Kraft with the throne here, lads. I thought I'd just seen something on my screen there that said Fabian Shaw was injured. I was going to be like, what on earth's going on there? Uh, straight to Fulham. Anthony Robinson absolutely booted up the pitch. Intercepted by Kraft. Can it keep it in? Fulham throwing. Thank God Fabian Shaw's okay. Some boy, man. Some boy. Josh, mate, you're still doing cameos. I've been trying to get the cameos back up for quite a while now, but for some reason, they're just being daft. Like, they actually are just being daft for some reason. Um, I, I will get them back up, though. Don't don't you worry about that. Uh, Sean Longstaff. Ellie Anderson now. Ellie... Uh, go on, Anderson, son. To Gordon. Gordon Shim. He's shot. Ooh. Very timid shot, by the way, but bloody hell. Uh, Burn Leno did have to, to, to tame the shot down. And Fulham are breaking yet again. William on the left-hand side. William to Tom Kearney. Just passes by Sean Longstaff. Just passes by him. No ambition to get straight back in there again. Honestly, man. Get goal aside of your man as well, uh, Longstaff. A Warby now to Paulinha. Paulinha shoots straight over the bar. No closing down from Longstaff, who was the man in front of him. Honestly, it feels like I'm just picking out Longstaff here. But... It, it, He's not dying out. He's not dying out. Not that he needed to close it down to be fair, like, but he's just he's an absolute passenger in this game. It's it's exactly what he is. And UFC Shane Shays and UFC Shane Shays. And UFC Shane says one nil result written all over it, and do you know what it is? Some team is gonna either I think Newcastle actually could nick it, so to speak, but still. Fulham do deserve to win that game. Let, let's not beat around the bush. Fulham have actually been the better team in this game. Big Dan Burns sends a lovely Fabian Shaw-esque ball through, unfortunately, straight on bloody Aradabeo's head. Uh, Alex Awobi touches it down, straight back to Aradabeo, tries to play it long. Big Dan Burns versus... Big Dan Burns is the only winner there. It is a throne for Fulham, though. Took straight away. Well in Lewis Hall. Oh, my God, this kid. He's actually such a good footballer, you know. He's getting so much hate, which he doesn't deserve, but lovely interception there. Uh, long ball sent by a Fulham player. Fantastic interception by Kraft. Fulham's let it play out. They've got a throw in. Tom Kearney on the ball. 
Calvin, I was going to say Alex Awobi there again. Calvin Bassey now. They're just they're, they're sitting off Fulham. They're, they're, they're not doing uh, as much battering as the, the bloody ones were. But I tell you what, they, they are still doing very, very good. I've got to give them the credit, like. I've got to give them the credit. Bassi. Joe Polina now. Tom Kearney. These are just, um, these are kind of just, they're not doing as much as they were, by the way. They're kind of just playing about with the ball in their own half. Like, Newcastle's kind of pressing them really well. Yeah, I give credit to Newcastle. Burnt Eno's going to send the ball long. He does so as well. He does send it long. Fabian Shaw. There's not much to speak about here, by the way, lads, I swear down. Fabian Shaw again, lovely both. Oh, my God, Gordon. Terrible touch by Gordon. Uh, just out of reach of, of one of the Fulham midfielders. But, uh, oh, my God, another touch to fantastically take it away from them. Is that going to be a front for Newcastle or Fulham? Camera, do you want to show her? It's, it's what the people pay money for. Who's it going to be a front for? Uh, it looked like it was from Fulham. Uh, Fulham's defence are with it now. Honestly, these have been so much more timid in this half. Like, uh, to be fair, I've still got 75% possession, by the way. But th these have been so much more timid. Fabian Shaw. Long ball came through from the Fulham defence. Just gives us straight back to Dubravka. But this is actually, like, I know the first half was boring because of all the, the stoppages. Like, the free kicks, the corners, the bloody getting battered off Fulham. But this is just like a sort of a null game. Like, nothing's gone on. A uh, null half, I should say. Anyways, lovely ball by Bruno with that left-hand side for Gordon. Gordon can't get there in the air. He does touch it down, though, and he keeps it in as well. Oh, my God, some boy. Ellie Anderson just pokes it through to Bruno. Bruno back to Anderson. He's got he's got options here, by the way. Picked out a lovely one in Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall in the box. It wasn't a bad cross, by the way. He just couldn't pick someone out. Wasn't a bad cross at all. Unlucky, Lewis Hall. Get your head up, son. Get your head up. Goal kick to Fulham. Uh, goal kick for Fulham would be taken, yeah, by the way. Um, throwing, I should say. How on, how on earth was that a... Jesus Christ, this, this camera sentence is... These camera sentences are so bad. Fulham's breaking forward again. Andres Pereira. Andres Pereira. Alex Awobi. Oh, well, Awobi's just done Lewis Hall there. It's ball inside the box. And Dan Byrne out. Very well in Dan Byrne there. I think Dan Byrne's just clattered Bruno. <laughs> Bruno looks okay. Don't worry about that. Andreas Pereira puts it past Bruno. Lovely little sherry. Fr what to say from Dubravka. Pereira takes it past Bruno like it's absolutely nothing. Shot from outside the box in Dubravka. Has to make a save, by the way. Uh, get down low. And it's a very good save, honestly. We are relying on Dubravka a lot more than we actually think, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you that now. Calvin Bassi. Oh, wait, no, it is actually Calvin Bassi this time. I actually got it right. Anthony Robinson. Just an overplayed ball. Thank God it was as well. That was a very dangerous ball. But I think I was just going to say... Uh, Andreas Pereira, Alex Awobi, Tom Kearney, them three players, I swear I've said their names, or Willian, I swear I've said their names like 50 times, they've actually been really good for Fulham today, do you think Newcastle will buy Lewis Hall, 110%, uh, Angel answer your question, 110%, uh, Ellie Anderson on the ball now, gives it back to Lewis Hall, a little link up between, uh, play between them two has been very very good, uh, may I say, Bruno J now, Fulham, marching forward with the ball, Tom Kearney on it again, on the left hand side, Anthony Robinson inside the box, Dubravka saves again, honestly yeah, people actually slate Dubravka you know, and he saves us so many times in so many games, Bruno tries to play a ball through a Gordon, can't just get there, Burn Leno's way out of his box lads, Right, they're biding the time now. I was going to say, we needed to get that ball there. That's all I was going to say. Calvin Bassey just biding his time. Uh, straight back to Burn Leno. Probably the, the smartest option, just, just to say. Hello, Logan, mate. I hope you're all okay. Uh, Calvin Bassey gives it Anthony Robinson. This has been such a, a null half to what the first half was, by the way. Honestly, that first half had 
nearly everything. Nearly had a bloody penalty. Nearly had a free kick. I mean, nearly had a free kick. Had a good 20. Had a corner. Had absolutely everything. <laughs> no problem. No problem, uh, Logan, mate. Don't you worry about that. Ball black with uh, Leno here. Not nothing going on at all. Leno's literally still got the ball. Like honestly, if I go quiet, by the way, it's not like I'm just zoning out or anything. Like there's genuinely nothing to narrate on. Like Leno, when I was not speaking, I was literally just stood with the ball. Like what am I meant to see there? Leno, the um, 28 year old German ex Arsenal man. He's a fantastic goalkeeper, shot stopper at his finest. Know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways. Balls, uh, like, it's like pinball here, by the way, honestly. Uh, between Fulham and Newcastle's midfield, this is this is genuine like, uh, pinball. Do you know what it is? That's, um, absolutely, I'm absolutely, I'm dying for some food. And I'm going to check if this food place is still open. I really, really need some food. Nothing's going on in this game, by the way. I say that. Alexander Isak plays the fruit with Gordon. Gordon does one, does two. Anthony Gordon, man. It's a corner for Newcastle. Very well done. Gordon is unbelievable, you know. Took it past two players. Like, he was absolutely nothing. And uh, Nelly got, well, he did get the pass off. It was a it was a pretty decent interception by the Fulham defender, by the way. If that was in Alexander Isak's territory, which it very nearly was, that's a goal every day of the week. That's a goal every day of the week, right? Please say this place is open. Please say it's open. Closes 9pm. Come on! Come! Is that Dubravka coming off? Is Dubravka coming off? Oh, no, I don't think he is. Sorry for the false alarm there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Dubravka was sort of... Dubravka was... What's going on with Dubravka? I think the camera just panned on him jogging. It might have just been jogging up to near enough the halfway line because it was a corner, but... That was very, very weird. Oh. Oh, right, okay, right. Um, triple substitution here, by the way, from Fulham. Adama Traore. I think you'll be playing against Lewis Hall. Whew. Harry Wilson coming on for Fulham. And, of course... Is that... Lukic, I think Lukic is, is, is Sasa Lukic, I think his name is. Lukic has actually been pretty decent, by the way, for um for Fulham. He actually has been very, very good. Tom Kearney's coming off. He's been very good for Fulham today. Got to give him his credit. He's been a very good uh, footballer of the day. Yes, Lukic, that, that's his name. He's actually, he's actually really good, you know. And Newcastle looks like we're making a substitution as well. Who else is coming off? Willian's coming off. Another play out a very good uh, game today for Fulham. Andreas Pereira. Another play out a very good play out. Uh, in the, in the Andreas Pereira. Another player who had a very good game for Fulham. What a mouthful, man. What a bloody mouthful. <laughs> Anyways, Jacob Murphy comes off. Rightly so as well. Another poor performance from Jacob Murphy, in my opinion. Um, you, you can't blame him, though. Look, it has to be Gordon on the left and then Barnes on as an impact sub. Harvey Barnes is on now, though. Uh, thankfully, of course, Gordon will go on at the right. Barnes is on the left. Barnes, you've been unbelievable as a substitute, mate. Get yourself on that score sheet today. Leno kicks the game back off. Of course, I, if I just want to reiterate there... Um, their substitutions were Harry Wilson came on, Andreas Pereira came off, Adama Traore came on, Willian came off, Sasa Lukic came on, and Tom Kearney came off. Uh, for us, just simple, Jacob Murphy came off, Harvey Barnes came on. Let's get this one wrapped up, shall we? We'll add 65 minutes in. It's been poor, mind. It, it has been poor. Unbelievably poor. Maybe not unbelievably poor. That, that's a little bit harsh, but... Uh, yeah, as I'm speaking now, Dan Burns just walking off the ball. There's, there's absolutely nothing to talk about. Uh, Anthony Gordon now takes it around Harry Wilson, the, the fresh-legged Harry Wilson. Alexander Isak now gives it... Go on. Go on, Ellie Anderson. Harvey Barnes on the left. Lewis Hall now. Skip past, skip past one, man. Uh, he's got to have options there. How well, lads? That's not his fault. Ellie Anderson. Lovely little pass to pick up. Long stuff. Shot. Deflected. Oh my god, I thought I was deflected in. I thought I was deflected in. It's going to be a corner off in Newcastle. I believe Longstaff headed from outside the box. Didn't look like a bad shot, by the way. I thought it might have been going in. Let's take a look at this replay here. Ellie Anderson hit it. It was a nice pass, by the way. Longstaff, lovely turn. And uh, yeah, 110% a corner. Corner every day of the week. But uh, I not not bad at all. I thought it was in as well. Oh, and I, I can't lie, mate. Corner be taken by Lewis Hall, yeah. How are boys? In by Lewis Hall. Oh, what a terrible corner. Didn't even beat the first man. Unlucky Lewis Hall, lad. Unlucky. 
Throwing for Newcastle United, though, don't worry about that, lads. Throwing for Newcastle. We've still... How oh, well? Why we've got, like, seven players up the left-hand side of the pitch? How oh, well, man? Got to help each other out here. Emil Kraft to take. Sean Longstaff's with him. Bruno's... Of course he gives it a Bruno. I mean, you've got a choice of Bruno and Longstaff. Not being harsh on the kid, but you're giving that ball to Bruno every day of the week, aren't you? Harvey Barnes has got Elliot Anderson with him. He doesn't use him, though. He uses Bruno. Yeah, again, I didn't blame him. Longstaff goes up to win the ball. I think that's handball by Longstaff. The referee plays advantage, I believe. Fulham are on the counter-attack right now. Adama Traore versus Lewis. Jesus Christ, Adama Traore is just absolutely bursted through our midfield. Rodrigo Munez is with Fabian Shaw now. Well done by Shaw. Shaw's pushing him all the way out with the right. That's fantastic defending. Harvey Barnes now. Free kick, Charlie Ref. Free kick for Newcastle. Well in. Well in now, Harvey Barnes. That was in a... A uh, tough spot for Newcastle as well. That's a that's a yellow card as well for Sasa Luke. Is he actually is his first name actually Sasa? Am I just making that up? Lukic. I know his name's definitely Lukic, but uh, ah, he's just been given a, a yellow card there, ladies and gentlemen. There, the new midfielder who did just come on, but they were absolutely breaking through us there. Bloody hell, thank God they got uh, so penalised. Anyways, free kick taken by Newcastle. Swift going on the... Uh, Harvey, Harvey Barnes. It's been said going on the left-hand side that much. It's Harvey Barnes on the left-hand side now. Now Bruno tries to whip it through. How well, lads. We've got to make one of these work. We've got to make one of these work. Bruno now. Bruno to Fabi Shaw. Bruno G. How oh, we're being pushed back here. Like, all the way back to Martin Dubravka. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I will say that, but... It, it can be a lot better than this. That's just what we'll say, ladies and gentlemen. Shaw's ball went straight with Fulham player. What a turn by Elliot Anderson. Tries to play a chip ball. Oh, unlucky lad. Oh, Burn Leno doesn't... Burn Leno didn't actually catch that ball. It was a lovely ball played from Elliot Anderson. Uh, Isak Nelly got on the end of it, but bloody hell. Burn Leno nearly made a meal of that, ladies and gentlemen. Bloody hell. <laughs> Anthony Robinson on the ball. Elliot Anderson is pressing again. Elliot Anderson has been... So, such a, a, like, a refreshment in this game. He's been such a breath of fresh air. Well, actually, we do need more of that, you know. Seriously, I mean, I know we're all going about long stuff, but he, he does need to start proving himself long stuff, man. He just he doesn't... Oh, my God, what a tackle by Shaw that was. What a tackle by Shaw that was. Uh, Fulham's still on the ball. Don't don't worry about that, but f f Fabian Shaw, I think he's left the lad in, like... I think he's left the lad in quite a bit of pain. That was Alex Awarby, but... Jeez... Fabian Shaw doesn't mind about getting stuck into tackles, does he, lads? <laughs> some tackle, like, honestly. Fabian Shaw, is some defender, like you know, you're, you're not wrong. Uh, it's, it is a pretty boring match. Dan Byrne plays it out wide to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall is that kind of in this air uh, back four. At least he's definitely that spark in the back four. Oh my God. Harvey Bond's trying to play it through with Isak again. That, that's all we've tried to do. Get the ball at Isak. It's like the old times are trying to get it at St. Maximin. Anyways, Harry Wilson plays it out. Anthony Robinson on the left hand side. He's going to use Harry Wilson again. He does. Sean Longstaff's with him. Clear push by Longstaff that. Free kick to Fulham. How well, Longstaff? How, how proud was that, man? Longstaff, don't be arguing with the referee. Didn't be arguing with the referee. You literally pushed him. What are you arguing for? What what's he actually arguing there for, right? The the balls and the balls played to Harry Wilson. Sean Longstaff pushes him down. He's on a yellow already, by the way. What are you arguing for? Just do, it's it's a free kick. You're not getting carded. Walk away. You're gonna get yourself sent off. Alright, lads, this this match is I appreciate you all staying with us because this match is very, very poor. Like if you haven't already, by the way, I'm still trying to beat that bloody goal, even though it's a horrible match to watch. Subscribe if you want you around here, but I Hasn't been the, the best game to watch at all, has it? Anyways, Fulham have a free kick here. It's about to be taken by Harry Wilson. He's actually... I remember his days at Bournemouth. He's actually always been good at set pieces, penalties, free kicks. He actually has. Um, Harry Wilson whips it in. No, you've got to be joking me. You're not. It's not 1-0. Don't worry. They haven't scored. But Joe Polina was just left as the most free man in the world. No one picked him up in that situation. Are you joking me? How poor was that? How poor was that? I'm telling you now, we need to work on our set pieces more, going forwards and against, because that was terrible there. Joe Polina was just left in no man's land. He was by himself. Thank God he messed it up. Otherwise, it would have been 1-0 Fulham, as it should have been. Uh, 
Oh my god, lads. How are you? You draw against Everton. You need to win this game. It's simple as you draw against Everton. This is a must win. Vital. Uh, no no excuses. And Eddie Howe actually said in his press conference after that Everton game, by the way, um, if the if we win Fulham, if we if we win Fulham, that sounds a, a bit illiterate. If we beat Fulham. The Everton point doesn't look so... I, I know he didn't use this word, but this is kind of what he was uh, sort of uh, insinuating to. It doesn't look so bad. So basically what he's trying to say is if we're beat Fulham, the Everton result doesn't really matter because we've got a result against West Ham. Well, we may not have expected it. Kind of made it... Would have rather had beaten West Ham, uh, beaten Everton and drawn to West Ham. But if you, if you drop points to both Fulham and Everton... He's got a lot of explaining to do, I'm telling you that. I'm not saying get him sacked, definitely not. He was no absolutely a door Eddie Howe, no matter what. But he's got a lot, of, a lot of explaining to do because recently I've been noticing Eddie Howe's becoming a little bit of short of answers in his press conference. Uh, he's not being... He's been making a little bit of excuses, uh, so to speak. He's been, like, in poor performances, he's been saying, oh, I found really good things in this match. I don't know why he's been finding them good things because them bad things in their match have been happening every single week. For example, uh, Longstaff not being able to string a pass together. The intensity is our identity is completely fallen off. Um, the the midfield looks so shaky still. It's all get it up to Alexander Isak. There's no service to Isak. Honestly, there is so much wrong right now, and we can't say sort of injuries and all that sort of stuff. But even we've seen at the start of the season, ball whipped in here by Fulham from a corner. Oh my god, it's happened again. Oh my god, it's happened again. It's happened again. What did I tell you at the start of the, to, of the stream, right? Every time Martin Dubravka grabs the ball, and I'm going to say it again, not necessarily his fault, but he grabs the ball, he runs straight out like he's James Bond, and he's going to hit that ball out with someone uh, on the wings, and he just stands there for 10 seconds after. He like, he, So he runs out. Oh, I've got no one to pass the ball to. He does it every time. Probably shouldn't, um, probably shouldn't have said that because Newcastle nearly scored there. Free uh, corner kick for Newcastle United, I believe it is. Uh, Harvey Barnes with a fantastic shot. Calvin Bassey just sticks a leg out. And it's certainly a corner. Alexander Risak nearly tapped that one in. Bloody hell. Unlucky, lads. Unlucky. More of this. 17 minutes to go. I know this... Um, I do apologise, and all this time I literally say 70 minutes, but I've got... Um, my, my timer is updated. I, I can't believe I didn't say that, by the way. Uh, but I... Ball whipped in here by Anthony Gordon from the corner. Terrible corner. Can't blame him. He's not meant to take them, is he? He's not meant to take them. Gordon goes to take one back in, though. Absolutely does, Harry Wilson. Lovely chip ball. Dan Bin, how can you look at there? Fabian Shaw smack it in. Yes! Go on, is it in? Yes! Come on! We needed that goal so bad. We needed that goal so bad. Fabian Shaw whips it in. I tell you now, someone said at the start of the video as well, someone said that Fabian Shaw was going to score. Come on! Get in there, Fabian Shaw, son. I tell you what, it's not the prettiest. It's not the most deserved goal. Oh, we're, on a, we're on a road to Europe, and I tell you what. We bloody need a goal. I couldn't care if we pulled that out of Sean Longstaff's armpit. We needed a goal. Come on, the boys. Come on! Yes! That's exactly what we need. Get in there, Fabian Shaw, son. What an obscure goal as well. Uh, it, Gordon, right, I, I'll reiterate that again, by the way. Actually, do you know what it is? I'll, wait. So, Gordon absolutely does Harry Wilson um, on the right-hand side of the box. Absolutely does him. Lovely chip ball through. Dan Byrne can't get there. Fabian Shaw, knee, slap, bang in the corner. F uh, very close corner as well. Get in there, son, right? There's, there's one thing and one thing only to do. Let's get that bloody score up, dude. 1-0 in Newcastle United. Now, lads, look. It's going to be a little bit cheesy. It is a little bit cheesy because Fulham have battered us this game. But look, I tell you what. We've been a victim to it so many times this season. If you're not clinical in your football games, if you don't finish off your chances, simple as, you, you don't win the games, you know what I mean? It... Oh. Is the... Calls for offside, lads. Calls for offside. Possible foul. Possible foul. Wait, possible foul. There's a call for a possible foul. Oh, no way. No, you've got to be joking if you think that's a foul. You have got to be joking if you think that's a foul. Wait one second. Wait one second. I'm taking a photo of that just in case. You've got to be joking if you think that's a foul, by the way. Is the referee going to the monitor? Lads, uh, I'm not sure. Crap, I need to stop the timer. Oh, actually, no. Good chances to get the ready timer going. The referee's going to the monitor. I'm telling you now, right? Look, for you that can't watch it, of course, I can't show the game because I'll literally get banned. But I took a... I, wait one second. 
I'll lads, let us um I'll I'll take a photo and show you it. I'll take a photo and show you it. Wait, is is it a foul? Ah, I can't tell you now. It's so right. So this is this is the point of contact, ladies and gentlemen. This is the point of contact. That's it there, Big Dan Bunny. I know you can't say it's so pixelated, but that's what the claimant is a foul. I mean, from there, it just looks like he's going up for a header, doesn't it? it it's what it looks like. I mean, how where tossing out of is a big lad. Do you know what I mean? He's he's going up for a header as well. Surely it's surely it can be called out. They're both big lads. They're both going for headers. Or it might be Calvin Bassi. Is that Calvin Bass? No, it's Calvin Bassi actually. Calvin Bassi gets straight back up. Is it disallowed? No goal. Oh my god, you've got to be joking me, you know. Nah, you've got to be joking me with that. Nah, that's ridiculous, that, you know. I swear down. You use know how, like, sort of unbiased I am. I love giving, like, just good views and unbiased views on football overall. But I'm telling you now, nah, that, that, that's not it, that, you know. I'm t so, big damn burn, right? Kids, like, seven foot odd. How can you blame him for going in the air with a big, strong lad like Calvin Bassey? Calvin Bassey didn't complain about it. He got straight back up. What, what do you mean disallowed for a goal? However, man, there's, there's two big Premier League footballers, two big lads right there. They're going head to head. Are you joking me? How, how, where, how's, how's that actually called out for a goal? Now, I'm not going to get too annoyed because, look, Fulham should have Fulham should be a couple up right now. I'm not going to say that, but Fulham should have been battering us. Like, but that's ridiculous, that, by the way. Two, the two, two very strong lads. It can be contested either way. Uh, Dan Byrne could have went down there. Just, Alex Awobi just needs to... Uh, not Alex Awobi. Calvin Bassey just shouldn't be so weak. You know what I mean? It's a, Let's check it again. The Sean replays here. Ooh, to be fair. To be fair, right? It's not the most blatant disallowed ever. I'm tell it's not the most blatant disallowed thing ever. But he does, for some reason, like, shove him with his, with his forearm. I don't know why he does that. It's that from Dan Byrne. Could have literally just left him. I don't know why he shoves him so much. Shoves him like he's got a lot of hatred towards him, mind it. Uh, Hey-ho, look, got to go and win the game normally now. Couple, cut back to Bruno. Bruno's give it Emil Kraft. Smack it, Emil, son. Unfortunately, oh, Emil again. Go on, Kraft. Back post for Harvey Barnes. Jesus Christ, that's the worst that I think I've seen in my life. Oh, my God. Uh, tossing out of the Bills down here. Looks like it's going to be a free kick for Fulham. Oh, my God. What has went on there, man? Honestly, what has went on there? Need to pick ourselves up, yeah, lads. Need to pick ourselves up, yeah. Ugh. I wasn't Harvey. Do you know what it is? It was Elliot Anderson again. I've been getting mixed up with Elliot Anderson and Harvey Barnes from the naked eye so, so much, man. I swear to God. Ugh. Honestly. I don't know if that should have been disallowed, by the way. Um... Oh, yeah, sorry, I should change the score. Hopefully I can change that back again, by the way. No, no, it, it is going to be. I hope I can change that back to 1-0. <sighs> oh, Bruno's on the ball now. Go on, Bruno, son, give us something. Oh, lovely ball from Bruno. Lovely ball. Harvey Barnes now. Ali Anderson, whipped out. Go on, Bruno, son! Yes! Yeah, this kid, I'm telling you now, I swear to God, this, I've, I've never said this before in my life, but he is too good for Newcastle United. Bruno give him a race, ball comes out, absolutely slaps it in at the back of the net. This man is Real Madrid standard. I'm telling you now, passing, shooting, vision, technic technicality, this guy is too good. I'm telling you now, I would... We are too lucky to have Bruno at this football club. This man is an absolute magician. He... Oh, We've been carried yet again. We've been absolutely carried. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I I can change the, I can change the score right back. I can change the score right back. Come on, lads. Get in there. Oh my god. Get in there, Bruno son. What a saviour, man. Every single game now, I'm telling you. Every single game. This man is carrying us on our back. Whether it's a, a last minute run or anything like that. Oh, he's he's so good. He's so so good. Harvey Barnes whips it in. I think it was like a little deflection. Bruno just slaps it and it's a goal. Get in there, Bruno son. Come on. By the way, I'm just gonna say how many people cheered in the how many people cheered in the home end? 
Bloody hell. Is that a, oh, is it, is it a neutral end? I don't actually know, but, oh my, oh, did I put a Fulham? I put a Fulham, sorry lads. <laughs> Thank God it's not. Thank the Lord it's not. Get in there, Bruno, son. What a player, honestly. We, we cannot afford to lose him, you know, I'm telling you now. We cannot afford to lose him. Get in there, Bruno, son. Come on! Well, it's, it's kicked off straight away, by the way. It's kicked off straight away. Oh, my God. Bruno Gimmerich. This guy is so good. This guy is so, so good. I'm telling you that now. What's the, what's the Twitter feed saying? Oh, West Ham's brought it back. West Ham's winning 2-1. West Ham's bringing it back 2-1, ladies and gentlemen. They're playing Wolves, 84th minute. James Ward-Prowse goal. Looks like they're going to go and win it there. <sighs> Come on, the boys. Oh, look. All that matters is us getting them three points. Let them do what they want to do. We get them three points, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, the boys. Come on. Fantastic goal by Bruno. Get in there, son. Get in there. What a goal, man. Some boy, I'm telling you now, some boy, Bruno. A little bit of a drinks break going on here uh, from the players, of course, and me and myself. I think Harry Wilson's went down with like a head injury or, or something like that. I think he has, yeah. Obviously, nothing he's, nothing he's going to sort of fake because he has got uh, put on as a substitute. I hope he's okay. I think he kind of collided his head with the Emil Kraft and the, the, the advertising board. Honestly, lads, some player, we, we cannot afford to lose Bruno, you know. We, we simply cannot afford to lose Bruno. Imagine, oh, I don't even want it, but imagine this season, right? Right now, if we had Bruno injured and we had someone like Joe, Joe Willick back, for example. I know he's, he's, he is a fantastic player when he's fit, but oh my God, if we if Bruno's carried us so many times this season, he's, he's just too good. He is simply too good. Oh my God, have another chance here. Yeah. Gordon, oh, you really should have done better there, by the way. Really should have done better there, Gordon. He's on the right-hand side. He's not his, it's not his natural position, but... Oh, my God, Bruno. What a pass that was. Long staff to Bruno. Played it through with Gordon. And uh, Gordon really should have, should have put that in the back of the net every day of the week. Unfortunate. But look, just, just hold on to the lead. Five minutes to go, lads. Five minutes to go. Come on. Hold on to this one. We'll be absolutely grand, lads. We'll be absolutely fine. Gonna be some subs here from uh, Fulham. Jao Polina comes off. Do you know what it is? He's, he's died down a little bit, hasn't he? I know he's always been like remarked as a fantastic player. And he is, a, he is a very, very good player, by the way. But he's kind of like... His hype, so to speak, has died off. Raul, Hel H Raul Jimenez has came back on. Haven't seen him in action in quite a long time, actually. I know he started life at Fulham quite well. He hasn't done too well since that. Um, Armando Breuer came on. Bloody hell. Right, lads, we're back in action. Harry Wilson stayed on, by the way. Little warrior there, little little graft. I actually re it looked like he really hurt his head. Uh, Lewis Hall versus Adama Traore. Go on, Holson. Ball from Adama Traore is absolutely terrible. Not even trying to take the mic. Very, very bad ball. It's going to be a goal kick for Newcastle United. Yes, it was a cross on the right hand side as well. Very hard, probably harder to do than actually get a cross on target. Somehow he's done that. But uh, aye. Very, very poor cross from Adama Traore. And it's going to be a uh, goal kick for Newcastle United. My, my phone keeps buzzing and I don't know what for. Pretty, pretty notifications about Bruno maybe leaving that, lads. And never leaving this club. He's never leaving, man. <laughs> the Brav got to take the goal kick now, though. On my screen, I know that's a little bit later. But on my screen, 86th minute, four minutes of regular time left to play. However, right, boys, this is a massive three points. Massive three points. Bruno, oh my god, that, that lad's going to put his heart on his sleeve. Uh, that lad is... He would die for this football club, Bruno, I'm telling you now. Challenges in left, right and centre. Fabian Shaw. Out Alexander Rysak. 
Ali Anderson. Oh, Ali Anderson nearly played a ball through to wait for it. Fabian Shaw playing as a striker role there. Fabian Shaw's got to get back now. Fulham are breaking. Adama Traore on the right hand side. This doesn't look good. Oh my God. Jimenez, oh my god, Fabian Shaw, he made up for that, how many times did I just say oh my god there, but Fabian Shaw made up for that from a, a bloody striker run, and now he's, he's intercepting the balls at centre-back, some player man, some player. <laughs> No, it's, it's it's not, lads. Honestly, lads, don't don't put fake scores in the chat, man. It's not 2-0. And it certainly wouldn't be Longstaff scoring either. Uh, Harry Wilson on the ball now. It's it's not 2-0, lad. It's not. Fabian Shaw out. Bruno against... Oh, there's only one winner. Free kick for Newcastle, Charlie. It is a free kick for Newcastle. Well in. Bruno wins a free kick. Oh, my God. I, 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 I can't describe what he does for this club. Like... What on his back? One, he's we're, we're basically like we are all on a dog leash, and he's just walking. we like he genuinely is the the man of this club. If there was an owner who didn't have anything to do with financial stuff or sorts things like that, he he is our owner. Like I know you normally say, for example, Alexander Isak is the owner of Sunderland, the Malcolm Slayer, so to speak. Bruno G is the owner of Newcastle United. He's that good. He's actually that good. <laughs> Oh, lads, Luton's beating Bournemouth. Fantastic for us. Luton's beating Bournemouth 2-1. Come on. Ball sent forward long here. Bruno's on the ball now. It's going to be another throw for Newcastle. Just about a minute and so left of regular time. Come on, boys. Let's see this one out. Let's see this one out. Come on, the lads. Also, by the way, lads, if he's on you, get down there. Hit that subscribe button for all Newcastle United content. You won't miss a thing. Uh, hit that notification, I always forget to say that, hit that notification bell, you'll be first on the videos, of course, you get the news first as well, never mind just like, waiting about, oh, I'll watch it later, like, you will get the news first if you watch it, obviously, uh, like this video, if you do enjoy it, I uh, appreciate it all, I appreciate you all tuning by as well, when it's not been the, the most spectacular game to watch, has it, it's been very, very stop and start in all the free kicks, full and battering us in the first 20 minutes, I appreciate you sticking with it, with us, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really do. Uh, thank you, Michael. You are my favourite YouTube channel. Absolute legend. I know many of you have complimented this, and I might have missed it. Honestly, all of you, you are absolute legends, man. You are absolute legends. I Luton made it 2-1, by the way. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm just... Two fifty one. Wow. Charlie Pindas watching the stream at 2.51 a.m. Bloody hell. Love your YouTube. Thank you very much, me. I do appreciate that. In Sydney, do you know what it was, lads? Newcastle have actually... By the way, nothing's going on with the game. Don't worry about that. It's literally just went to a little bit of a stoppage. Um, There is a... Newcastle United are going to Australia to play two... Just two singular friendlies. I was looking to go to Australia. Looked up them flights. 1.2 grand. Does anyone want to like donate 1.2 grand in the chat? Because I tell you what, I'm not paying that to go to Australia. I did really want to go though because Australia is somewhere. I've always wanted to go. My family lives in Australia. I wanted to kind of see the culture there. I wanted to see Newcastle play there. But honestly, I'm not paying them. I'm not paying them prices. You know that is unbelievable. Anyways, through ball, yeah, Gordon. Gordon's um, he's got like five Fulham defenders around him. He's just going to try and play it in the corner. He's got Calvin Bastion on his case. Surely that's a free kick. And it's not. It's not. Awobi's dragging forward with the ball now. Nine minutes of added time. Nine minutes of added time, ladies and gentlemen. Adama Chayori on the right. We've got to hold on for our life here. We've got to hold on for our life. Awobi now. Harry Wilson. Robinson on the left. Out by Fabian Shaw. It's a little bit better, boys. It's a little bit better. A little bit better, lads. Barnes changing again. Do you know what it was? I don't think Barnes actually been that impactful, but he's uh, Tim Tams, Vegemite, Spiders, Spiders, Snakes, Tigers, and all things in between, isn't it? I mean, that's all them bloody Australians. See, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, Josh is a top streamer. Thank you very much, Kurt, mate. I appreciate that. You're a legend, man. You're going. Hope you enjoy, mate. I hope you enjoy. Uh, one minute went through of the nine ad uh, added, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Awobi on the ball yet again. He's actually like stepped up a level from his move from Everton to, to Fulham. He's seriously stepped up a le uh, level. Robinson yet again on the left hand side. Blocked out by Gordon. Is Dubravka going to claim that? Nope. Oh, 
Fabian Shaw comes out and heads that away. I think the, the Fulham fans actually are getting off the sort of little the, the, the cheese board and grape wine drinking seats there and actually got out the seats and said, How are the team? Carrie Wilson is going to take it. Carrie Wilson? Harry Wilson is going to. Uh, Warby does always, always play against us. I said that before, you know, honestly. That Everton game is, is seriously, seriously giving me flashbacks in the, in the back of my head. Bruno's trying to lift up the... Is he trying to lift up the, the home crowd of, of Craven Cottage? I don't know if he actually is, like. Uh, Alex... Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to mention him in the match reaction, by the way. Like, Alex Awobi actually deserves a special mention, even though he played for the opposing team. What a performance, man. What a performance. Anthony Robinson on the left-hand side. Terrible pass to Gordon. Gordon intercepts. Longstaff and Bruno with the ball now. Longstaff just leaves Bruno to it. Oh, my God. Right, Bruno, that was a bit too much. There was three players around him. He didn't do too bad, and he's won the ball back again. This this man is too good. I'm telling you now, Real Madrid are going to come for him. I'm telling you now, he is so, so good. Honestly, man. Harry Wilson. He's got Calvin Bassey with him. Calvin Bassey whips it up. Thank the Lord, Martin Dubravka. Claim. Just go down, Dubravka. Take your time. This is the one time where he actually doesn't need to rush out like a madman and uh, look like he's going to do something unbelievable. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, nice, mate. N nice to hear. No, honestly, I've been in a... Oh, my God, what a turn by Gordon. Two Fulham players sliding into him, though. Harry Wilson on the ball again. He's been such a danger, man. Harry Wilson, by the way. His crosses are so great. Lewis Hall hits it straight out. Lewis Hall looks absolutely knackered by the... Lewis Hall's went down. Has he got cramp? I think Lewis Hall's got cramp, yeah. Think he's got cramp, yeah, lads. Fabian Shaw just trying to bloody pull him up. The the lads are really helping him out here, here by the way. Please stay on, please stay on hold. Oh my god, Dummett's coming on. Dummett's coming on. Dummett and Richie's coming on. No, I'm not having that, you know. I'm actually not having that. Wait, let's take a I've got to take a fall of that, you know, seriously. Jesus. Dummit and Richie's coming on. Dummit and Richie. Now I'm just going to say that one more time. Dummit and Richie. Newcastle United got took over by the richest... Newcastle United got made the richest club in the world three years ago. Bloody hell. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking, man, but seriously, that's... <laughs> I can't believe that, you know. I hope he's okay, by the way. I hope he is fine. Fabian Shaw trying to get him a bloody play straight away. Do you know what I mean? No one just playing Gordon at left back. If Dummett makes another howl like yeah, I'm telling you now. I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, Gordon's off. Gordon's off for Matt Ritchie. If it dares comes out tomorrow, there, Anthony Gordon injured. Uh, for six to nine months, I'm going to be absolutely forming. Anyways, corner for Fulham here. 95th minute, ladies and gentlemen. Corner taken straight away. Out by Sean Longstaff. Wow. Very close to Tosin Aridebeo. That's all I'm going to say. Um, their left back's on the ball yet again. He does Emil Kraft. Emil Kraft gets a foot out again. It's going to be a corner. Well in there, Kraft. He's actually been very good today, by the way. Very, very good. I I've liked this little cameo from Emil Kraft. Very promising as well because... No way of actually... Oh my god, you're not lying. You're not lying. Full Wolves have scored a last minute equaliser against West Ham. That's absolutely fantastic for us, by the way. Last minute, their centre back scored and Luton beat Bournemouth, which is good for us as well. Um, right. Oh my god. Raul Jimenez had a very good chance there. Um, so the league table as it stands now, ladies and gentlemen, let me just get it up on the screen. I know it's going to take some time to like focus in. Just let it focus in a second. Um, does it want to focus in? Does it want to focus in? Right, I'm just going to give it up. Three, two, one. Nah, you had your chance, lad, honestly. You had your chance to focus in. You've chucked it back in your face there. Like, So, the... Safe by Dubravka there. So, the, the, the league table as it is right now, Wolves are four points behind us. Chelsea are four points behind us. They've got two games in hand. That's very worrying. Brighton are four points behind us. 
and West Ham are a point behind us. And of course, we've got a game more to play uh, than West Ham as well, which is which is pretty pretty worry uh, pretty pretty worrying, pretty um, exciting as well. Oh, the race to Europe could be on, boys. The race to Europe could be on. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna get myself too. Oh my God, the goal got disallowed. The goal got disallowed. That's my luck all over that. <laughs> right, so as it stands right now, West Ham are ahead of us, but we do have a game in hand. We do have a game in hand, ladies and gentlemen, honestly, man. That's my luck all over that. They actually say like a score which hasn't got any involvement with the, the two teams in the current stream. And that guns and bloody happens. Are you, are you joking, man? How? <laughs> what's, the, what's the chances of that? Anyways, barely any time left yet to play for Newcastle. How are, boys? The goal disallowed between um, uh, Wolves. Not, not, not in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about that. It's between West Ham and Wolves. Wolves scored a, a last-minute equaliser, which would have been beneficial for us. A draw in that game would have been fantastic. But um, I got disallowed, so West Ham are winning, which is probably the, the worst. It, it Actually, it depends how you take it, because Wolves, if they won that game, it's not like they can't really put on the pressure that West Ham could, if you know what I mean. But look, it's 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 give and go, isn't it? It is actually give and go. Um... Dan Byrne is a different player. Oh, Dan Byrne's fantastic at centre-back. Seriously is. Right, lads. We're just about approaching full-time here, by the way. I don't really want to look at the screen because I'm such a bad luck charm. I am a really, really bad luck charm. Um, is it... Okay, fair enough. I'm just... I'm, I'm not getting an update on my phone with what happened uh, with, with Anthony Gordon. Of course, he got brought off... He did play a full 90, but I'm just hoping that's nothing to do with any sort of injuries or anything like that. Fingers crossed this now, because this is getting into very late territory as well in the season. We need someone like Anthony Gordon. Surely it's got to it's, it's be nearly over and done with now. I know it's not exactly uh, anywhere near done, but it's got to be just about over and done with. How are, boys? How are? Whew. Come on. It's it's thirty seconds over uh, the the added time by the way it's the ninety ninth and well the it's thirty seconds over the the, the added time <laughs> however boys come on forty five seconds over now I know there was a little bit of um a little bit of a a commotion with Lewis Hall but oh, please just just keep it this way just keep it this way. It'll be a vital three points if we can keep it this way, ladies and gentlemen. That, that's all I'm saying. Now it is, I'm going to hold my phone up here just for good luck. Just right next to the camera. Right for good. I don't know how long I'm going to be holding it, mind. But just for... Oh, game ended. Wolverhampton won. There, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wonder how... Won, Wolverhampton Wanderers won. West Ham won. Wonder, Wolverhampton Wanderers won. West Ham too. Oh, my God. I, I might as well stop speaking, but not good for us at all. Um, This game now is in the 130th minute... There was only nine allocated, lads. Th th this isn't good. Yes! Come on! Full time, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I'm going to wrap it up there nice and quickly because I've got so much stuff to do. But, well, thank you very much. I'll see if I can do a match reaction. If I can't, um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow for some sort of video. But a vital, vital three points today, ladies and gentlemen. We're on that road back to Europe. West Ham did win. Kind of a little bit of a bummer. But look, nevertheless, I also want to personally thank you. Thank you, every single person, for tuning in today uh, to the live watch along. I appreciate your company. I hope you've appreciated my bloody annoying voice for that whole hour and a half. But look, honestly, uh, I do appreciate you all in the chat. K Woods, Cole, Alexander, um... I don't want to say your name, but Miss something. <laughs> Michael, uh, Lee J, Cole, Charlie. Uh, no problem, Charlie. Thank you very much for watching me at half two in the bloody morning over in Australia, pal. But uh, I see you later, Kane. I, I don't want to miss anyone else now, so I'll wrap it up now. But look, not the most exciting game ever. So I do appreciate you for uh, staying with us, honestly, to the hundreds of years that there were. And of course, going throughout the game. Thank you very much. I really seriously do love you all. I appreciate you all. Stay tuned. Get the notification bells turned on because there will be an upload tomorrow. 110%. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Jordy Josh. Ah, it's still nice outside there as well. Come on, I'm going to go and get some food now. See you later, lads. Go have a fantastic day.